Hey, what is up, everybody? Looks like we're going live. Okay, what is up, everybody? Sorry for the uh, the slight delay. We're just getting ready for a big filming week next week, and so I had to finish up some script stuff for Deb, who is on her way tomorrow. Andy, the lab, you guys have seen her. So it is Hey is Forces. Thank you very much, guys. What is going on, everybody? It's good to see everybody. Welcome to the regular Sunday night stream. You actually can only see the tip of his head. It's like right here. You can, it's like, it's not used to it, but you can see like, it's not a Chia pet. Let's see if I can get it to, yeah, right there. Oh no, there, there it is. It's not, it's not a Chia pet. There's actually a human back there. See, there's a human back there. Oh, I just knocked over all the stuff that I did. So there's actually a human back there. Uh, what's up everybody? Uh, we are gonna be uh, building a PC with Kevin today, uh, who is our tech director here on Roby Tech. Uh, he is going to be building his, this is his system. Like he, he chose it. I had very little to do with the part selections, right? I don't think I actually helped with any of it. No, no. So he's like, so for those who don't know, Mike is off. Mike is off. What Mike? He's not saying anything. He has not said a single word. So it's not that his mic's off. He just hasn't said anything. Um, <laughs> so uh, for those who don't know, he's never, he, uh, he is the guy who does all of our data so everything that basically uh, we have data, benchmarking, all that stuff, that is what Kevin does. So the reason that he doesn't actually need any of my help is because he's the one who actually collects all the data. So this is like him choosing all of the parts based on what he's doing. Uh, your voice is picking up through a different mic. Oh, well, I don't know what to do about that. I, I could turn his mic down. That's weird, because it usually doesn't do that. His mic, my voice is coming heavily through, so his might be a little loud, hold on. Let me see what mine's at. Mine's at eight, a 13, and his is at, oh yeah, wow. Yours is like way up. Okay, that probably helps. Because we are close, okay, there we go. Kevin, can you chalk? Say hi. Hello. There's Kevin, okay. I was coming through his mic, it was probably a little bit loud, so I was just looking at the levels. Is that better? How tall is he? He's not as tall as Tom, which is actually weird to uh, actually have that happen then. <laughs> so, uh, the case is coming, and now you're quiet. Oh, and now I'm quiet? I'm too quiet? This is, this is always a fun night. You are very low. Okay, well then let me fix that. Am I on four? Or six? I'm on four. Okay, I'll turn me up. Okay, whoa, hold on. How is that? Is that better? Is that better? Right there? Mm, blast more. Up. Up a bit more. Jeez. Okay, how's that? And thank you for the subscriptions, Dyson. Better, good, 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 good. Oh yeah, I could, let me see what I got here. The Wave XLR is good. So that's actually at max, and I have this up too. So there, I'm gonna turn that up. I'm not gonna go any louder, because they wanna make sure, but how are, so Kevin, say hi again. Can you guys hear us? I, I have Amazon, I do, that's weird. I thought I turned all that stuff on. Okay, here we go. This is all gonna get fixed. I turned them off on all but this channel. Okay, there we go. Okay, this is Kevin, you guys can hear him? Okay, sounds good, and we'll turn the music down, okay. Somebody's all saying turn the music down. This is always the thing, we're always dealing with uh, audio issues. Um, there we go, turn this down a little bit more. It's usually about there. Okay, there you go, There's their volume's down more. Okay, I'm gonna turn Kevin up a little bit more. I'm just, I don't want, I want, to, I don't want him to catch through here. Like it's, these mics, I guess, are too good for that. He, is, he isn't saying anything, guys. Okay, I'm Kevin. a reserved quiet type. He is a reserved quiet type. How's that, was that better? Let's see what he says. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, all right, so anyway, I uh, haven't chosen some parts, I haven't all that sort of stuff. Okay, sounds great, okay. I uh, haven't, we haven't, I've had very little to do this part, so. Kevin, why don't you, instead of me walking through the parts list, why don't you talk about why you chose the parts that you did? Because I think this is interesting. So there's a couple things we're gonna do on the show. Number one, we're gonna build Kevin's system. He's also got a different, he's actually, he also actually has a very different approach um, in many ways to how I do with cable management. Main reason being is that the one thing that he has to do now this time is he's gonna be doing it live in front of a lot of other people. And we also don't have like 
300 hours to do it. Not that it takes him 300 hours, but um, he does a lot of things like hiding cables behind motherboards and stuff like that. So I figured this would be a good one to do some cable management questions at the same time. Um, he'll be here in chat, et cetera, for it to be able to answer questions. We will still have the folks, the tech channel folks as well, who will basically are our tech specialists who will be in the channel as well. So it's just a great opportunity for you guys to hear from somebody who's also a different builder. Now, he has not built as many systems as I have, but he has built a number of systems. Um, in fact, actually, that may not be true because he used to build systems before I built systems in a completely different era of PC. So it's not, it's not the same era. Um, but the big thing here is for you guys to see somebody a little bit different who has a lot of experience building PCs as well, both water-cooled and regular, um, and then him going through his mindset for why he chose the parts that he chose today. Igor, thank you for the two gifted subs. Now, we still do have the giveaway, so all that stuff is still happening today. Uh, we are out down to our last week, so we have that PC that we're going to be giving away. That's that 1440p system, so uh, that, I'm sorry, that uh, 4070 system we showed earlier. It's not up here. It'll be here uh, next week, but it's, it went downstairs for pictures. So we've got that RTX 4070 uh, system that's up for grabs for our Discord subs and our Twitch subs, so if you want to get in on that. Uh, make sure you, you use your Amazon Prime subscription. If, you're, if you use your Prime sub, you get one free entry. And then if you subscribe it to your one, you get three entries. Subscribe it to your two, you get five entries. If you subscribe it to your three, you get 10 entries. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. So you can win a PC. We're gonna be announcing that in early May, because it's April. Um, the other thing too is for kick folks, we're nowhere near giving away that GPU. So uh, hoping that we can get a surgence there, but we don't seem to be having a lot of people on kick. I might switch it over to just chatting, uh, but we have the giveaway there too. So if we get, a, get, get to 300 subs, we'll also give away a 3060 on top of also giving away a CPU. And then the more subs we get, the bigger the D overall giveaway happens there. And you just have to be over at kick.com slash Robitech. This is also the last week to get in on the AMD Advantage giveaway that we're giving away in, car in conjunction with AMD and Origin. Um, so that is also happening as well. Bro, I had no idea someone gave a sub here and I've been watching on YouTube. Ah, the madness. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so we uh, so that's uh, also up for grabs as well. And then, of course, 250 likes over at youtube.com slash Robitech Live. You'll also be entered to win. When you order a new mouse pad from Amazon and realize it's been shipped from China and because of where you live, the package might not be deliverable. Oh, that's tough. So um, anyway, guys, really, really excited for today's show. It should be a lot of fun. This is going to be really interesting having somebody else build. So I'm just here to hang out with you guys and talk. For the most part, he's going to be doing most of the building, uh, which should be a lot of fun. But I'd love to see, with Kevin being here, can we get a hype train for Kevin, guys? Remember, if we get a level 5 hype train, that automatically unlocks a $25 New Egg gift card. I'd love to see us, see if we can at least unlock that already, because we got, we got Kevin in the house. And he was, like, genuinely, not nervous, but he doesn't do this, like, ever. Like, this is never, he's never done this. So you guys, let's get some hype here, show him some love, all that sort of stuff. Riddick dropping out 20 gifted subs. So he could, we're already well on our way. Igor's already got two, uh, Zeistin done. Can we get some crazy BMOC dropping out a gifted sub uh, and all that sort of stuff. We got Plastic Stair dropping 200 bits. We got one more thing and then the hype train starts. There it is, do the Drew dropping a gifted sub and we're already getting going. I'm gonna drop the Discord guys in. Hopefully they'll see if they're in there. I don't think I'm in the chat. I'm gonna jump into the Discord chat real quick. What level are we at? We have a limited time. Sea boys dropping 100 bits. Uh, it doesn't say. It says 30% of what? Uh, we don't know yet. Okay, Discord. Let's uh, let's open this up. We're gonna jump into here. We, know, we all know that introverts are adopted by extroverts. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, we should be unmuted there. Hey, uh, tech specialist, can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. An org is really loud, too, which is good. We're already, okay, we have to finish level five. So we have to finish level five. So we just got to get through that last little bit, and we'll already be on our way. And remember, guys, if we get, we're already halfway to that $50 New Age gift card as it is already. I want to show them some hype and all that sort of stuff. And, and the thing is, is the only, I think, the, I think all the techs have actually chatted with you at some point in time on Discord. But I don't think, is this the first time he's actually been, on, no, he's been on camera one other time, right, guys? I believe so. Yeah, I think one time. Do the Drew drop in 120 bits. Come on, let's finish that level five hype train so we can start talking about parts. I can actually unleash Kevin upon the world. It'll be a very silent event. <clears throat> Toasty Notes resubscribe, resubscribing. We got Plastic Star dropping 200 bits. Thank you very much, guys. Slowly getting close to that last little bit. We can make it happen. And thank you very much. Kick, what's up? How's it going? We got PC guy over there hanging out in Kick right now too. 
We can make it happen. We're getting it. We're getting close. We're at 54%. This is almost the fastest we've ever gotten to level five, all because of how how much people love you, Kevin. They love you a lot. See boys dropping 500 bits. Can we can we finish it out and just get going in there? Uh, let's see what else. Anybody else asking any other questions? Not right now. We have almost 200 people here. Don't forget to go ahead to youtube.com slash Ruby Tech Live and do it there. It's all for Kevin. That's right. Hey, Plastic Star subscribing with one month right there. And thank you very much for that Plastic Star. I like the name too, Plastic Star. That's a, that's a good name. That's a good name. Uh, how would you replace oversized HEDs? Can't fit them in my case. Uh, you could actually get in. There's actually tools you can buy on Amazon that'll let you connect a oversized HED and let you directly copy them to a, another device. And it's like an external device. So how's the 47? I heard it hadn't. It didn't even sell on launch day. Uh, Kyotastic, it's an interesting card. It doesn't have a ton of RAM, which is VRAM, which is a problem. Uh, overall performance is okay, right? But it's just, it's like $100 overpriced, right? So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping that it's one of those things that we can, we can like see overall NVIDIA starts to get closer to dropping prices. I, that guy's named J Darby and we have K Darby. So we have, we do have an H Darby or an I Darby. Igor dropping another gifted subs to J Darby. There we go. So now J Darby and K Darby are both, are both subbed. Yeah, Kyotastic, there was a lot of backlash. Yeah, just publicly about it, but. Uh, severe power limits are also a problem I hear. Yeah, and I haven't watched, I know that Jay and a couple people had just replaced, just done some videos on it, so I have to see what it is. This is why one retailer is giving a $100 stream Steam gift card with a 4070 purchase. I think it was really funny, there was one company, it was a uh, Vietnamese company, or maybe it was Japan, sorry, Japanese retailer. If you buy an RTX 4090, you get a free ARC 750. <laughs> A750. So that's like a Riddick dropping another gifted sub. Guys, we're almost there, 82%, and we're getting really close. Yeah. Yeah, BMOC is, I, I do, I like the 4070 Ti too. And we, we, we had that, we did that, we got to do that at launch day. We did that in the Height Y40. And then we shipped it. It actually got to be at CES for a little while. Venjeezy, Sub Hunter, resubscribing right there. There we are, 50, we have one left. And then we'll have unlocked it. We're already we're only 20 subs away from unlocking the $50 New A gift card, guys. Yeah, we're very close. Genie Shrimp is excited. With a name like Genie Shrimp. I, like Genie Shrimp, how did you come up with your name? I'm just curious. Uh Kyotastic, I don't know if I would do, I don't I think I would jump a little higher. So like a 4070 Ti would probably be a better one. And there we go, right? Igor dropping it, and there it is, level five. We are now officially done with level five. Whatever happens from here, if we can get the, the if we get the 50 subs, I think Kevin may dance. But I don't know if that's actually true, but if we get the 50 subs, you might find out. And then uh, can we get a little bit of sub love over on the uh, kick sign? I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to, um, to just chatting. But Kevin, let's go through the parts list. Talk about why you chose each part or just stare at them just really creepily if you want to do that too. That could be that could be a thing as well. So here we go, I'm gonna hand it off to Kevin. While we're doing that, I'm gonna change some, a couple things, but Kevin's gonna take it from here. Take it away. So the purpose of this build is to build a gaming system in my bedroom. Uh, I spend all my day in the office uh, doing lots of data gathering and research uh, and data management uh, for Robitech. In the end of the day, I don't really want to sit at my desk and play video games because I've been in the room all day. So I decided I wanted to treat myself to something where I could play um, both console and PC games uh, in my room. Um, for me, gaming uh, is whatever I want. So it, it could be WoW, it could be Cyberpunk, uh, it could be uh, Fortnite, which is the only FPS that I'm actually into <laughs> a little bit. Um, but I enjoy playing a lot of different games and I wanted to make sure that I built a system that could run those games, but also met certain requirements. Um, I wanted it to be quiet. I wanted it to uh, not have a lot of management overhead. Uh, so why did I select what I select? Well. Uh, I really like the MSI motherboards uh, because they don't have, MSI Center does not have to run at all times. Uh, it can be shut off and it has 
uh, virtually no overhead when your system's uh, running idle. Um, and you used to be a huge fan of like the ASUS ones. Like I ASUS. do, I do really like ASUS. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that ASUS is bad or anything. It's just for a system that is, you know, powered on, go play games. This is what I want to do. MSI is a little bit more convenient for me in in that way. Um, why did I choose the 790? Well, it's going beside uh, next to an entertainment center, so I'm not really going to have uh, easy access. Um, so I don't want to have to determine what's USB 2, what's USB 3 on the back. C790 take care of that for me because they're all USB 3 plus. Um, so that took care of the motherboard. Uh, I'm a gamer. I don't want to have to worry about uh, a CPU performance. So yeah, I did go the 13900 because more power, because <laughs> why not? Um, and then, and that led into the video card, which is I wanted a 4090, because I wanted, um, I wanted to be able to do 4K gaming at 120 megahertz. And to guarantee that, a 4090 is really the only way to go. Um, there are very, I haven't encountered any games that run less than 120 at 4K. I'm sure there are, but for the most part, all games are running uh, 4K 120. And you, and so telling people what kind of games you play, because you actually, I mean, you, outside of the one FPS, you, and you talked a little bit about this, but like Assassin's Creed Valhalla was a big one for you. Assassin's Creed, Cyberpunk. I play a lot of uh, open world RPG games and I like the visuals and I want to run at uh, either 60 or 120 Hertz. I want to run at 4K. Um, I want to play WoW with a lot of screen real estate. Um, and so, uh, I want to be able to push up those visualizations. So it's it's not just 4K gaming, it's 4K gaming with all of the bells and whistles turned on so that I can experience what the uh, designers and artists intended for their games. And no, yes, we know he said megahertz, guys. Come on, he's never done this before, so be kind. He, he was saying 120 hertz. Now, what monitor do you play on? Like, you're you're not playing on a typical monitor. This is going right to be... Right now, I'm... I'm uh, will be hooked up to a, a, a Samsung um, LCD uh, curved screen. Um, but if I want to take it downstairs, then I've got my LG OLED 120 hertz uh, uh, TV downstairs, so I can hook it up to that as well uh, and be able to play on, on the 70 inch downstairs. So yeah, he's he so he he will be he usually plays when he's going to do gaming. The gaming will be either on a monitor, will not be on a monitor. It'll be on televisions in both cases. And then again, guys, just a spoiler alert. There's a really good deal on the LG OLEDs right now, so we'll talk about that near the end. But again, the thing is, LG OLEDs. If you're using that as your gaming monitor, even though it's a television, you have 120 hertz. It's G-Sync and FreeSync. Right. It's got all that stuff at the same time, and uh, basically, he's super good to go. So. Um, okay, so you, you, you talked about your motherboard, you talked so, about your GPU. Somebody said you don't need an excuse to buy a 4090. True, he's just trying to take you through. He is, like I understand, having conversations with, with uh, Kevin, he is very, like he actually is intentional with his thoughts. So it's worth listening because he actually has a reason for things. It's not just, well, it was the most expensive one, so I bought the most expensive one. Because some people do definitely do that. Um, so uh, I chose the MSI. Uh, uh, trio, uh, essentially because with MSI, then all RGB and uh, driver updates are controlled by MSI Center. So I don't have uh, conflicting software running in the background uh, with the motherboard um, or any other RGB. Uh, I chose my parts relative to the motherboard being able to control that RGB. Um, obviously with the 4090, you have uh, power requirements. So uh, I went with the ther Thermaltake uh, GF3. The, it has the uh, PCIe 5 cable, the 16 pin that works with this. Um, I don't, I, I'd rather have that single cable just to minimize how much cable is going uh, behind the power supply and make it easier to uh, change things out. Um, currently, I couldn't find a red or red black um, female to female from power supply to card or an extension 16 pin that was red. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the cable. Uh, I do have cable extensions for uh, the other uh, parts of the motherboard, um, but I'm just gonna home run it from for the power supply. Now obviously with the 13900K, you have a lot of uh, heat generation. Um, 
So we'll be using a uh, contact plate uh, to help uh, with the AI, uh, the pump sitting on top of the CPU. Uh, and I went with the uh, Glacier 1 T30 Gen 2. Uh, after uh, I've been doing all the testing on our AIOs, I am really happy with uh, the performance that this has relative to uh, thermals and it allows me to stick with a, a, a 360 for 13900K without necessarily having to go to a, a 420, which and is more limitation. It's really quiet. Really and quiet. If, and, and it was of the ones, and I, I know everyone wants us to take test the Arctic, which is like a big one that everybody's saying you need to compare it to, but right now it is the best AIO we have tested in terms of overall performance. And you do not need to go to uh, advanced, right. you can stick at performance and get that 2000 RPM and it ends up being, well, like we were surprised at how quiet it actually was. So um, yeah, it's very, very good. It's, I, I'm, I'm excited. I, I think this is a good choice. It was funny cause you were like, you had been looking for the right AIO for a while. This was like one of the last parts you ordered. It wasn't until we tested that, that you ended up picking it up, yeah. right? It was, it was important cause if I couldn't find an AIO that was cooling a 13.9 well enough, then I would have uh, put in a 420. I just have more limitations, and um, as quality of devices as uh, Corsair puts out, um, their software has a lot of overhead, which was the main thing that I was trying to reduce in this gaming system, is just to minimize the overhead. Because I have to think about the keyboard and mouse overhead as well um, for that software. So with the, the, the AO, I get quiet fans, and the Lee and Lee RGB are also nice and quiet. We're using a Lee and Lee Landcool 3 RGB. And so the last thing was what fans to pull air from the bottom, because the Lee and Lee has nice uh, side intakes at the bottom uh, that are gonna be pulled up. Another reason why I wanted to reduce the cabling was to ensure I get more air coming up through the bottom of the case. And so I, I went with these uh, NBE loop. Um, these are really quiet and very uh, hefty fans. They are, <laughs> this is a result of a, a, a conversation that I had with um, a gentleman at Falcon. Kelt, Kelt, Kelt is, uh, <laughs> Kelt's, Kelt's a guy. We, I had mean... a, we had a good conversation on fans and uh, a, lot of, a lot of their systems use uh, uh, these types of fans. They're, he, they obviously get to get direct. They're not these retail fans that we get. Uh, but it's it's basically the same company that makes the the fans, and so we're going with these E loops, uh, which are super quiet, um, pulling air in uh, from the bottom of the case. I mean, so. if you guys want to have your mind blown, go watch our review of not just the fa the the Talon, but they also use them on the um, Frag Box, right. and that Frag Box is like small form fat, well, smallish form factor. <laughs> it's not a Tiki. Uh, but small form factor, super quiet, 40,000 Cinebench score on that 13900K. And, and if you take off MCE, which now, thank God, they finally fixed all that crap. Uh, you're like you're looking at, you know, low 90s for a 13900K in that tiny box. Yep. Like Kevin was very jealous of the Falcon, but nobody wants it. Like the Falcon's like seven thousand dollars. How much is this system? <laughs> uh, with all, everything, it's it's uh, and and taxes it, it. It's less than five for me. So yeah. So um, so for gaming, obviously, I wanted memory. Uh, I really like Kingston. Uh, bang for the buck is really good. Uh, I went with uh, two by thirty two, uh, sixty four gig kit. Um, RGB, so the motherboard can control that. Um, and what's the performance uplift from the RGB? Uh, <laughs> incalculable. <laughs> Especially since I do run red, so <laughs> just amazing performance. I love it. <laughs> so, and then for hard drives, uh, I also went with uh, Kingston. Uh, I have a, a two terabyte OS drive and a four terabyte gaming drive, so I have uh, enough space to play quite a few different games simultaneously if uh, I want to. And so. we're gonna raid zero some two terabytes just for guys, because we, I don't know if you guys saw, we were showing that a little bit. We have the Falcon Northwest. I'll show it a little bit later when we get finished with this build. Um, you guys, you, this Falcon Northwest gaming laptop is ridiculous, and it's a raid zero striped two terabyte KC 3000s, and it's like 
12,000 right read, uh, sorry, 12,000 right, 14,000 read, and it's ridiculous. And now I have uh, Kingston sending two four terabytes that we're also gonna raid zero. So we're actually thinking about raid zeroing four and then having, so then you'd have like 22,000 megabits per second, and then you'd still have 16 terabytes of game storage. Um, because, you know, we just what? like to do, because why not, right? That's what you need. That's what you need, 14, no, yeah, 14,000. Yeah, we'll show it on the show a little bit later, but we do have it. Um, uh, not many land. So, Rookie Ver, actually, I would disagree, because I actually have a friend of ours, Hobbs, uh, uh, Hobbs, who actually travels to lands all over the place, DreamHack and PAX. So there's usually a big LAN every month um, that you can go to, and there's people who travel, so the frag box actually works really well for that. And then now the rumor is, you know, again, with the 4070 and maybe not the best card, but there is some practicality to stuff like the Tiki and things like that as well. So yeah, there are there there's there's a lot of fun still yet to be had. And have you ever been to a LAN? You've done a LAN before, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, it's been a while, but I, I, I like I, LANs. Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh, I've done land parties. But this is not going to be think. taken to the land. No. No. We're going to buy different, we're going to build a different system for that later. <laughs> How many fans? So total fans are three, uh, three intake on the bottom. The case has uh, three intake front. They're 140s uh, and one rear, which is also 140. And then three 120 T30s exhausting through the radiator. So we'll have a total of 10 fans in the case. Is that, does that feel like enough? Should we, should we just, should we just glue some more on there on the outside? So, um, okay, so we are gonna get started. Now again, Kevin is gonna show you, he, it's gonna be different. Kevin uses a lot of different stuff. And the other two is one of the things I like about having different people on my staff, just like we have with our, uh, with our tech specialists is differentiation, differences in opinions. You and I have known each other how long? Uh, uh, it's like 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, we've known each other for a really long time. We have uh, we have had our all out screaming matches. We have had like we've been friends for a very long time. So uh, this is one of those things that you go over there. Pump the yeah, Wolf King, we should have at least 60. Now, this has already been benched, right? Yes. It's already been benched. It's already got an OS on it. When we get when we we will be able to show some numbers at the end of this. And the other thing too is because you're not using extensions or anything like that, it's like it's not going to be overly complicated from a well, I still have uh, cable extensions for the motherboard and the uh, Okay, but still, uh, it's, all, it's only two, right? It's like, are you going for, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not a ton. And then he's got his kit, like his kit's over here. He's not even using my tools. He actually has his own iFixits, his own, he doesn't use a wow stick, so don't judge him too much, but uh, he does have his own stuff from here. So, okay, Kevin, talk us through, yeah, the big thing is people like to talk, so talk you through what you're doing. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is this is uh, the Landcool 3 uh, mesh. Uh, we actually use this case. I selected this case for use in our AIO testing. Uh, so um, all the AIO data that he uses comes through uh, a Land Landcool mesh 3. The things that I like about it are uh, the airflow from the bottom coming through these side gates. Uh, I'll be removing the drive bays uh, shortly so that, uh, again, more airflow up through the, the case. Um, the radiator will be top mounted uh, here uh, so that we can have nice flow bottom to top, front to back uh, on this. Um, the Lee and Lee RGB fans actually do a uh, a, a good job of, of airflow, and that's all we're trying to do is feed those T30s with air. Um, so we're, we have three 140s pushing in, uh, and we have three 120s on the bottom, pushing air directly into the uh, 4090 to help keep it cool, as well as get some extra air uh, around. Uh, this and case- And you're top mounting your AIO? AIO will be top mounting. You don't want to, you don't want to put it in the PSU shroud? Uh, I'm gonna go <laughs> no on that, so. <laughs> Um, and then anything else that you're going to modify in the case, uh, you're, you said you're removing the drive trays, which, you know, you guys can see down here. We've got, yeah, I'll, be, I'll be pulling the, the drive bays. Um, but other than that, one of the big things is I like to make sure that, uh, for cable management, um, one, the cables are easy access, uh, for individual, uh, failures. 
Uh, and then two, uh, as, as just said, I, I do my cable management different. Uh, it's not to say one right is one, one is right and one is wrong. It's just different and you guys will get a chance to see how I do it. I will be showing how I put some cables behind the motherboard uh, to reduce a lot of cables coming over the, the top or around the side um, that are harder to manage because they're so small and they tend to just uh, knock around a lot. Um, well, so si so do you see what Sid Rick, Sid Re Six says? The only problem with this case for me is the bottom when you're going to see all the cables with the lighting. Do you think that's going to actually? Be <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, you don't. Um, now, certainly, if you were if you had um, like the XPG lighting white strips or lighting strips that were white, then yeah, it would be uh, more light all over the case and more down. The, the fact that these uh, front fans are more diffused in their RGB, even if we went white, once you close all of uh, this up, diffused light doesn't travel very far. Um, and so it doesn't really shine down in here. Uh, the other thing uh, for, for my purpose is it's gonna be sitting next to uh, an entertainment center. So this isn't about a showcase build where everybody gets to go ooh and ah about this side. It's basically going to be facing me just like this. But um, you're still going to make it look good. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still uh, going to, you know, put in lighting and, and you know, if you're in a different uh, part, you'll be able to see inside very easily. Um, but with this case and diffused lighting coming off the, the fans, you actually really can't see into this area where all the, the cables are bundled. Now, you'll also see that I, I bundle my cables now, BMOC and some of the some of the people, and BMOC can respond to him because he's in chat right now. Um, just so you know, the color of this will be red, even though it is an Intel build. So BMOC just, I don't know what you need to do to pre prepare yourself mentally for that, because it is not going to manage ma uh, match company colors. Well, I like red. <laughs> this is my system. So. See what BMOC, I'm waiting for BMOC to respond. He might, he might be playing with the kid. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I did it in chat, but I said, we'll just pretend it's AMD. <laughs> Thanks, BMOC. He's ready for it. Reddit, that's right. Everybody's like, what the heck? Because people like other colors, guys. It's like, it's not like they have an ownership of, of whatever it is, but it's going from there. Okay, so um, okay, so we, we have a whole, you guys, uh, what did you guys think of Kevin's breakdown? Did it give you a pretty good idea of his mindset when choosing it? Uh, and choosing the parts. Is there any other questions you want to do before we get started with the build? What about uh, uh, text? You guys have anything you want to add or ask questions of Kevin before we get started? Because now it's going to get into the minutia, and he's going to do it all in sign language because he's he's quiet. <laughs> it looks good. People are saying it looks good. Anything from you guys? Let's see if the org or Kilt Man or Zeist or any of those guys have anything to add. Anything? I have nothing to add. Kilt has nothing. He said it was perfect. So I, I'm not using the GPU extension at this time because uh, I want to use the uh, PCIe 516 pin. Um, the challenge right now is there's not a lot of options for uh, female to female uh, aftermarket cables that are in color. Uh, you can get black ones and I, there's one place I saw white. But um, So I'm using the default ones that came with the power supply in the hopes that later on it'll be easier to come by those uh, female to female uh, PCIe aftermarket cables that are colored. Hey, Pitchy, thank you very much for the raid. 38 people joining us, welcome. I don't know what he was doing, but just so you guys know, we're building a $4,100 system with our tech director, Kevin, who's joining us to go and see this, so this should be fun. Um, and then the only two, switch for extensions, have you thought, did you look at the, like, the cable mod ones? You did, right? You... Ca ca the cable mod has a lot of stuff going on on their, on their site. Um, I couldn't find anything specific to the 16 pins. And that's not to say they don't have them. It's just I don't spend a lot of time on their site to right. know where specifically to look. And I didn't want to use the triple or quadruple eight pin because uh, that puts a lot of cables down below, which again, the more cables that are down there, uh, the more uh, they start interfering with pulling that air up through the bottom. Um, at this point, uh, we'll only have um, the motherboard uh, power coming off the CPU or PSU will have two uh, uh, EPS or CPU power cables coming off 
and we'll have the PCIe 6T. Um, everything else plugs into the um, to the motherboard for RGB, and there's no uh, SATA. Yeah, so it should be so. good. And Pitchy, thank you very much for having your people come join us for some more science and tech. This should be a really good build. I think this is going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to get a, a dissertation. Okay, so Kevin, you've got the case up. Now what? What is the next step in your evolution, sir? Because you've already done things completely different than I've done. I'm over here building the PS, building the motherboard right now, but you've you've taken out the case. What, what's going on here? So, one of the main things that that I, I want to do is make sure that the case is ready before I put the motherboard in. Do you want me to put it back here? It's a little bit easier. You can hand stuff to me. I'll put it back here for you. So, um, I'm like his van of white guys. I'm gonna make sure that uh, everything's ready for the motherboard to go in. Um, I'm also going to do some prep on the uh, on the cabling, just for uh, how I'm going to get the cables behind the the motherboard. And then, what's the first game you're playing on this? I actually haven't decided yet. If if you had your druthers, would it be the 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 server slam for Diablo Four? Um, like he's a huge Diablo fan. I, I may try out the uh, um, since we get another beta of Diablo Four uh, in May, twelfth uh, through the fourteenth. Um, I may go ahead and and load up the beta on disc because I played on console uh, last time. And that's what you own it on right now. Yeah. But now they're saying that we they got they added more titles. And then they also added, yeah, so you have to kill, and then they have a world boss you have to beat with level 20. But we don't get, we don't get to use our, our no, old beta characters. Yeah, if you've, if you've played beta uh, before, uh, then uh, your, your characters, your, any characters will have been wiped. It'll be a fresh, uh, fresh beta um, for uh, everyone to participate uh, starting on the 14th. And then, yes, he is just that tall. He is m way taller than me. You're like what six? Around six three. Yeah, six three, and I'm only five nine, five eight maybe. I don't know, somewhere around the fives, and he's in the sixes, and six is bigger than five. Do you want to save these? Uh, are you want to do? Are you are you gonna? Maybe we could put some like water in them, and you can do some <laughs> kettlebell workouts. Hey guys, don't forget to like on YouTube, guys. Here we go. I've got my like blasters. Do you want to maybe some cosplay work later? No. You don't want to do cosplay work. He's got a confused look on his face, but it's probably because I'm doing this. Like I'm a cosplayer. Yeah, I'm small form factor, guys. That's that's very right. I'm small form factor. He is a he is a full tower case. I'm mid. I'm a mid tower. I'm not full like my son and my daughter would be, um, like uh, small form factor. I think in this case. So, can see now that. Okay, here we I go basically. Go side. Okay, here we go. I've I removed all of the paneling from uh, the case. Um, I don't really have a need to remove the front panel. Um, almost forgot to remove the top panel. Yeah, because you're keeping the you're keeping those on, right? You just like those. Yep. Here you go. I'll put that over. So don't take the only job I have on the show away. Just um, like I said, I'm sticking with the 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 Lee and Lee 140s. If I for some reason feel like they're not uh, getting the amount of air that I would like, then I, I can pull those. Three fans out, and they they just come right to here uh, for uh, plug in. So Tom said that we're all small form factor compared to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom should meet my family <laughs> and then see what he says. Yeah, sh ju just so you know, Tom, Kevin is the short man in his family. So like, he, I guess apparently they're 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 crazy tall. So. I'm I'm the second shortest male on my mother's side of the family. Who's, how tall is the tallest? My cousin, who's the same, we were born the same year, he is uh, seven foot. Wow, that is a lot of tall. That will not fit in a Ferrari. <laughs> I'm not, oh wow, Kurosaki, I'm not sidekick, I'm just Vanna. I'm just Vanna, it's a big difference. The thing is, my job is very important too, guys. Don't do, don't, don't cut me out. Okay, so Kevin, what he's working on right now is preparing. While he's doing that and just going through there, guys, don't forget, hit those, go over to youtube.com. Here, I'll do it right here. 
Guys, go over to youtube.com slash robytechlive and hit that thumbs up button. So that way we basically, we wanna to get to 250 likes. Also, we have a PC up for grabs for you Discord and Twitch people. So if you subscribe, you're entered to win that uh, awesome giveaway. It's a 4070 system. So uh, usually it's up here, but it was getting pictures. So it'll be back on Tuesday. And then also kick, we're trying to get to 300 so we can give away that 3060 and that uh, 5600X. So we got lots of giveaways still happening. So don't forget to get on those. Plus I get to use this window here. <laughs> I believe in you. It's Kevin Tech now. Wow, I'm being replaced. Kevin, Kevin, uh, if you guys want, I can just go find. And also, look, he has, look, he has a lot of zip ties too. There it is. He's got zip ties over here. And then he's using a different thermal paste, guys. He's using Thermal Grizzly. Um, and he's got needle nose pliers. And this is mostly for grabbing boogers when you're building PCs. Do you have zip, do you use this for zip tie cutters? What do you use for zip tie cutters? Oh, uh, the same ones you have. Okay, so I should take those out so you have them and are available. They're not on the table, Kevin. You're not well fully prepared. <clears throat> hey, Squirrel Breath, thank you. Wow, Squirrel Breath, that's a name. Squirrel Breath, thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub though. Appreciate it. <clears throat> you so nasty. <laughs> it, and this you you actually can get this to to spread. It just takes work, right? It we'll just, see. It just spreads differently. It spreads differently. You have to use your tongue. That's the difference. Okay, guys, you hitting that thumbs up button? You hitting it? You gotta make sure you do this. Yes, it is. Norex, am I not right? You definitely have to, you, di you have to have a clean nose. Kurosaki, the temps are lovely though. They're perfect, they're beautiful. I don't know what the issue is. So, you guys having fun? You guys enjoying having somebody different build? Should we have Kevin come once a month and build a PC just to have something a little bit different? People are like, yes, he should have way more than once a month. He should be here all three times a week. <clears throat> yeah, Kuro, yeah, Kurosaki. Mako Dunaldo. Oh, you have a lot of love for Japan, right? Like, that's a big thing for you. You like Japan. Yeah, and you're mm -hmm. really excited about, they have two of your favorite things happening in Japan in two years. Star Wars plus Japan. Yeah, so he's pretty excited about that. Have Kevin come once a day. <laughs> Kevin would get no work done. <clears throat> Wolf King's like, he needs to come every day. Hey, Randleton, thank you for the sub. I got my nostalgic Coca-Cola hot dog toaster today. It was awful. Way too cheap. It was awful? Okay, so Sergeant Nobody, Tom got his and he said it was great. Why was it awful? I want to know. Uh, Shady J01, this should actually have slight positive pressure because it's got more intake. Hey, Camel with 1510, thank you for the sub. I saw a review of it catching fire. Mine works just fine, Tom says. Uh oh, it's fly by me, he says. I got 666 tokens. Uh, what, what do you think you'll put your CPU in first when you get to the MOBO section? Because we got to do the, we got to do the, uh, we got to do the, uh, the prediction. So you think you'll do C, so we're gonna, we gotta do a, to see if the VRM, I mean, if the uh, CPU cover will jump the VRM. I'll let you drive that. Yeah. Okay, so yes, we're gonna go ahead and do the first prediction. The one that I don't think we will do today is the, um, the one that we will probably not do today is the weight. So, because it's all plugged in downstairs. I don't know, if we can find the weight, I might bring it up. You just unplug it. Oh, I can just unplug it, okay, never mind. Man, that's terrible that it's, I'm actually really excited about it. You said it's too cheap, but so Kevin, uh, Burnt my bun and it didn't cook my hot dog. Almost cut my hand on the cheap metal and could barely get it pushed down to turn it on. Okay, so sorry to nobody. Kevin, uh, sorry, not Kevin. Uh, Tom said his, he hadn't used it yet. So, but like it has a lot of positive ratings. So it's pretty crazy. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna have to get it. Yeah, return it for another one. Get the Oscar Mayer one and let us know if there's a difference between the two. So. It's, I'm very, yeah, this case is like, I love this case. The, the, the Landcool 3 is a, like such a great case. Okay, so this is you prepping for getting everything in right now, like yeah. getting it ready for, for Yeah, so the first, thing, the first thing is, uh, so I've already reviewed the, the fan headers. So I know where I want the fan header, the plugs to go, um, just for my own um, being able to keep track of it. So. The motherboard has uh, the CPU fan and the pump, uh, which will be right at the, the top of the motherboard here. 
and then it has one the the system six fan header right on the side right about here and then it has three at the bottom here and then one here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, for visualization the system fan that's here is going to run the front fans uh, the cpu is going to run the t30s uh, this system one i'm going to run behind the board and then pop up right next to where the fan header is here for the rear fan which is this cable here and then the three uh, i can either run all three to the three separate fan headers or uh, i've actually already have a uh, splitter uh, similar to this uh, so that they will all go into one and then I have two uh, fan headers left just in case. And just so you guys know, E-loops will be at the bottom, he's leaving the stock Lee and Lee, he's leaving the stock exhaust, and then the T30s will be the, will set as exhaust for, or intake, exhaust or intake, I'm assuming exhaust for your... T30s will be exhaust yeah. because they'll be pushing yep. through the radiator. Yep. Um, the only ones that will essentially be backwards will be the E-loops because they will be doing a pull into the uh, into the case. So they'll be uh, flipped backwards, but everything else is, is normal. So daisy chain, the only, there, you'll have two daisy chain, two sets of daisy chain fans. One is the E-loops for the GPU and the intake fans. That's the only ones that are daisy chain. Everything else is on its own header, correct? Oh no, no the no, T30s. They're, they're, they're all on, so the T30s are inherently daisy chain. Uh, with a single, um, and then we're we're basically uh, these come daisy chain. You can see three uh, per chain. That, that's the most so you're doing three per chain. Three, yeah, per, three chain. per chain. Yep. Uh, if if we if I wanted to do more, then I would have to do a powered uh, hub in order to do more yeah. than one. And somebody asked about the hoodie you're wearing. Um, uh, he, actually, he did it as a face painting competition. It's his <laughs> own face. You just blah, right on there. No. The uh, just because I, I never know what. Uh, how anything's gonna go in <laughs> clothing. Uh, I, I went with uh, my hoodie that's the most innocuous and not uh, company branded. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it is just his face. There you go, that's, it's not company branded. All right, so what's next? So now that we have, uh, so you can see all I did was I, I pulled the, the uh, power for the fans out from coming down here and just redirected them up here uh, so that I can use later. Uh, I now have better access to uh, the, the front panel and uh, USB-C connector, uh, as well as uh, the others. I do have one SATA, so I will have one SATA cable down at the bottom, uh, but we'll make sure to get that zipped up really well. Um, and then this is the RGB that um, we'll plug in. Um, the Tomahawk has uh, both 5-volt RGB right at the top. Uh, so we will be uh, essentially hiding these behind the motherboard instead of wrapping over the top um, for both this one uh, and um, the uh, Blondie, we, are, we already answered that question. We saw that. So there's going to be three sets that will be daisy chained, and the most they have is three. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Kevin does use big words like fan and header. So, yeah, you guys, you guys are going to learn new words, right? Like that's what we want to do. So that's, we're always trying to make it better by you. It's, this is, think of it as like, we're going to release the Roby Tech Kevin word of the day calendar, the tech word of the day calendar. Does he like Roby Tech macros? Actually, Kevin is the one who bought me. He actually bought me the collector's edition of Roby Tech, of Robotech. So he does, are you a macros Robotech fan? I think you're a macros fan. I, I, I like, uh, I liked uh, macros uh, and the subsequent, um, uh, movies towards that. And we're going to put these patches on your build, right? Like that's the... Robitech, <laughs> or, or Robotech, the series, um, didn't really grab me. Um, I, I actually, for the, for a lot of them, uh, the other one is... Um, uh, Blanken? Blanken on the other large mech. Gundam? Gundams. Hey! So I like, hey, I did it! Uh, I, I like, did it. I, I like a lot of the Gundams um, better, because... Robotech, Robotech just had a little bit too much cheese for me. It was too complicated for him, and that was the thing. It was just too in-depth, 
too much, right? Like he couldn't get over just the complication. I get that. It's okay. It's not for everybody. Some people just need simpler <laughs> plot lines. Kevin's like, I'm just gonna take this abuse. <laughs> too much cheese is Roby Tech 2. Absolutely. Okay, so what we've so, done, just so people don't, yeah, they couldn't see. But so while we were talking here, I, uh, so. I'm gonna go side to here. So you got this camera. So, where are those plates? Right here. These plates are the default covers that sit uh, on. Oh, I'll go to top down. Here you go, so you can show them. Uh, that sit on the bottom bracket. And these by themselves uh, can actually be used for mounting uh, SATA drives. You can see the mount points um, on them. Uh, in that I'm using it for airflow, uh, I'm popping the vents out uh, just so, to remove any restrictions. Uh, and then uh, I will be mounting the uh, NB loop, E loops on this. And so they have a nice uh, freedom of airflow because I removed uh, these plates. Okay, so question from chat. Is the Evangelion or the Gundam the better Asus integration? Uh, I, I never got to see the, the Gundam integration for it in, in whole. Um, the Evangelion was amazing because it went down to the BIOS level uh, where they actually customized uh, the visualizations inside the BIOS. Uh, and I think that's, that shows a lot of uh, love and care to really um, bring that uh, whole thing together. So you have the BIOS, you have the motherboard, then you had the case, and then you had the video card. And so everything just meshed in as a single entity and theme for uh, Evangelion. Um, unfortunately, I just never got to see the full uh, Gundam one. We Gundam. ordered it and it got stolen. So. It actually got stolen. Like the Gundam one actually got stolen. Um, but what the, the other question is, which one is better, Kevin? Evangelion or Gundam? And which one's better social norms? <laughs> so uh, from the story being told, I think I, I like them both. I, I feel like Gundam does, does a better job telling... Um, stories that are, are more relatable from uh, our current uh, standpoint on the world. Uh, Evangelion, there's some messed up stuff about Evangelion. <laughs> let's, 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 not, uh, <laughs> let's not mince words on that. Uh, Evangelion has some very messed up stuff. Um, the father-son relationship, uh, it's just, uh, it's, so one of the, uh, one of the reasons why uh, Falcon likes these, and, and, and I very much like these, is the design of the fan is slightly different, and you can see that the blades are actually connected to each other. It's one continuous piece of plastic all the way around on, on the edges as well. So you can see that right now, instead of touching the outside frame, I'm still touching the fans. Um, and so and you can see that they just mold up in there. This helps. Uh, and then on the back side, uh, they, they actually have uh, slightly serrated uh, edges, and this helps um, mitigate a lot of the turbulence that comes off the, the back of the fan. So they end up being very quiet. And they don't have as much, uh, they don't move, uh, their RPM isn't as high as a lot of other fans, uh, but this design allows them to push uh, a lot of air even without high RPMs, which allows them to be very, very quiet. The other thing too is that, so Falcon does actually get custom. The RGB, as far as I know, are actually are, 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 custom, are, are custom to Falcon. So if you look at the E-loops that are inside of our Talon back here, which Kelt loves that the Talon is on set all the time, but hates the fact that the Talon is on the set all the time and we're not using it. Uh, probably, I mean, we just love these systems, but yeah, it's uh, it's very, very, they're, these are incredibly, incredibly cool fans, so. So we're just opening up the boxes right now and then get ready to uh, get ready to uh, get it. And somebody was saying, they notice you don't rip open the boxes. You you take the, I think that's some of our, our training here on Roby Tech because we always have to like re-put things back into the box. This one we don't have to, uh, but I think that's just how we are. So, and Araxna, so you are correct. They are custom made. And they did a lot, like the amount of research that Falcon did getting to those those fans is actually pretty bonkers. Those are extensions. Okay. 
Yeah, and it's nice to have the box for parts of our RMAs, too. <clears throat> we'll be kind to the boxes as I put them away. So now you're just getting all the fans kind of hooked up right now, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure. I want to put these bottom ones in because they're the... Uh, um, I want, I want to make sure that's done before I start moving forward with things. So. I don't know. I, that's a good question. I don't know why it says that for your thing. Traveling full. Thank you for the resub for Prime. 20 months, my friend. And how are the folks doing over a kick? Uh, a couple people are following. It looks like it's just chilling. People at Kicker just, just hanging out. Riddick, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, my man. Uh, taking us, I think we're at 50 finally over on the, uh, over on the kick side. Take, talking to me, I save everything, anything except the GPU and CPU boxes. Wait, except? That's like the thing that most people always save is the, C, the CPU and GPU boxes, which is interesting. That's like the one we see more people save than anything. Like those are the only ones we ship normally. So, which is actually pretty interesting. Okay, so these ones are being set up as intake specifically to bring in air to the GPU. And he flips them over like a waffle. Now you have history at flipping waffles, yes? Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm not, <laughs> like how he's like, I like, see, that's what it is. So you actually have done that, some of that, like when you early on before you worked at Microsoft. Well, so yeah, it would be interesting, like as you're doing this, why don't you tell people your, like, your life story? You were born on the plains of Wisconsin. No, that's not true. So how did you come to be uh, where you are today, Kevin? So... <laughs> Origin story, it's a guys. Long, a long, sorted story. Well, I story. think this build is going to take at least 20 minutes, so I think we're still in good shape, right? So, I was actually born in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Can you get me the little piece that just fell off? Something fell off? Yeah, a little black rubber piece looks like this. Okay, I'm looking for it. Uh, I've given up on life already. There's apparently a black rubber piece that fell somewhere. Or is it over there? No, that's... This black rubber piece, I think he's sending me on a wild goose chase. See, you didn't want to talk about his origin story. There it is. Oh, he found it? Oh, oh it's right there. Okay, got it. Okay. So you uh, you were born, so I was born on a plane in, over Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, I was no. Born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, spent my formative years there. How, like, what, when you say formative, what does that mean? Yeah, birth through. <laughs> I was nine years old when we moved uh, to Eastern Washington. Okay, okay. And um, so, okay, these are different. Is this not what you were expecting? No, 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 it is fine. It's just, they're different than. Uh... No wild geese were lost in this stream. No, no wild geese. Uh... Had all the bits and pieces in a baggie still. Yeah, it's it's not it's actually I will tell you this guys, it's a good idea to save all of your spare parts because you never know, you never know when you might need them. Uh, can you give me the box again? Yes, yes, I can. Okay guys, we're getting the box. Here you are, sir. These won the product design award and the German design award. You are you know things are awesome when you're winning German design awards. Yeah. So I was nine years old when uh, we moved up to Eastern Washington. And uh, then I went to junior high and high school there um, and went through um, the loveliness that is, you know, having your, having your school admit to you that they failed you. Uh, <laughs> so they grant you some freebie weird scholarship thing. Um, which was enough to buy me my very first PC. Um, and then uh, after I got um, PC, I was working and I worked at, uh, <laughs> my first job was actually at IHOP and then- And that's where you learned to flip waffles? Nope, that's actually not where I learned to flip oh. waffles. That's where I learned to, I was a, I started as a dishwasher and then worked my way up to uh, host and then ultimately a uh, um, he 
He's still looking at stuff, guys, as he's just trying to get the the things going in there. Because there's a little bit different than what you kind of expected, huh? Yeah, I'm kind of concerned that... Are they going to be too long? They're going to pass through. Oh. I need to get some washers. Okay, he's going to get some washers, guys. Not the kind who wash dishes, but like washers for putting in... Putting in... These aren't washers? No, they're uh, the stoppers for uh, oh. balancing it. So we're just working on the uh, actual fans right now. And uh, just so you guys know, these are, these do 58.1 CFM, but they're actually very, very quiet, which is the thing that's created a, yeah, peep, yeah. So he's just working on the, he's working on that right now. Uh, while you're doing, we're just gonna go and remind people what's happening so far, guys, if you're joining us for the first time, we're building his system. Kevin is our technical design, our technical director. Uh, he does all of our testing, manages the team who manages and does all the testing. So he's here building his system that's gonna be his new primary gaming rig. And so we talked about the parts. It's a 4090, 13900K. It's in a Tomahawk Z790. Um, and then we're, he's got 10 fans and we're currently doing the intake fans for to do the GPUs. We're gonna also be showing you guys things, how we do our, uh, how we do cable management and all that sort of stuff. It's just a very different than, uh, than what I do. So he's grabbing some washers right now. Um, does Kevin stream games? Kevin does not stream games. Well, that's actually technically not true. You do stream games, but he streams it on the Roby Tech test account uh, when we test uh, cases and pre-builds. Uh, and he streams, he streams Fortnite and, and other games just to test how it's doing. Why is this build $4,100? Uh, KBON, you can actually go and check uh, down below, but like it's just all the parts come together. Araxis, it's CL40, but it's 64 gig. So it's two 32 gig kits, and it is 6,000 mega transfer, right? Correct. Yeah, so it's 6,000 mega transfer, so it's still, CL40 is fine. So the other thing I immediately like about these fans is uh, I don't have to use those dumb uh, fat screws that dig into the plastic. They're basically mounting the same way they would mount if they were going into a radiator. Oh, wow, okay. And so, then those go on the top. Oh wow, that's a crazy. So that's actually quite a bit different than how you would typically, how we have typically done. Can actually do it the other way, inverse, just to uh, re have, not have them sticking. Up. Yeah, not have the screw. Yeah, yeah. So you guys will see that. We'll we'll zoom in and show you that once we get them in there. But basically, I don't know if you guys can see this right now, but um, there is a. It has like a washer on one side, and then a wa like the cap is flat too. So it's and it's got two rubber um uh, f uh pieces to reduce vibration so there's actually a lot to kind of put together uh, uh there's actually a lot to kind of put together to make these kind of work the way that you are right it's a little bit different than uh what you typically do with a fan so now that now that i know what's going on I yeah these are actually pretty, no it's okay no it's fine this is what the point is is the point is to watch you do the build and we're seeing something new here which is actually pretty cool as well so um, after, uh, after uh, I graduated from high school, uh, my job at IHOP was while I was in high school. Um, I ended up working, well, just, before, just after I graduated, uh, I ended up uh, working uh, at both IHOP and then the local movie theater to earn extra money because um, I was gonna try and go to college. And so I was working a lot. And then I went to uh, WSU for a little while. Um, and there I had a part-time job at Pizza Hut and another part-time job at a local restaurant at that time was called Mendel's. Um, do, do the Drew, it's good to see you. And Hulk, that's awesome. He Hulk used the uh, wow stick and he said for his build, and he said it was game changing. <laughs> so that's good to know. So do, do the Drew. So, okay, so we're, we've, we've gone in there. Uh, we've gone in there. You, these are, you, so this is your getting out of college or you're working into college. So, right? so I'm at my first attempt at college and uh, I end up getting a job at uh, Pizza Hut and Mendel's. And Pizza Hut, I was you know, obviously making pizza, and then um, and washing dishes, and then Mendel's, I was a dishwasher first, and then that's where I actually learned to do breakfast and dinner and, and waffle prime flipping. ribs and waffle. And that's why you're so good at it here on this stream right now. Sure. 
So, but Pullman and WSU was not for me. Um, I didn't have any scholarships or anything that could pay for school. So I went back to um, the town to Yakima. Uh, and then uh, when I got back, I, I got back for um, Christmas. And I uh, took, a, uh, took a job at a local computer store uh, as a salesman. And because the computer shop is where I bought my first computer. So I knew, I knew the owner and a lot of people there because I would always go back and talk to them and um, play on their computers between jobs. Um, and then uh, after Christmas was over, the, uh, the owner asked if um, what I was going to do. And, and I didn't know at the time. And so I, uh, I went ahead and this is the actual channel, David Ramirez. No, we're not a botted channel. This is an actual channel, and we're just currently he's working through. What are you doing right now? You, you took it out. I, I, I put it on upside down. Okay. Hey, that's good. That's the way Roby Tech does it. Upside down. That's what we do. So here we go. So he's just he's just fixing the fans right now, guys. No, this is still this is live. We're just working on fans right now. My PC still uses DDR4, it's old. That's not that old. There's lots of PCs that still use DDR4. There's not a lot of, like DDR5 is still relatively new. Just be glad you're not using 32 pin DIMM. Yeah, there you go, yeah. That's the way be mock, that's right. You learn from the best. So I, uh, I started working at the computer store that I bought my uh, computer from, first computer, and then uh, the, uh, I, so I, in total I worked there about three and a half years. You still the screws pointing to the back like you were? I just don't want to mess it up like I did last time, so. Yeah, I just want to make sure that you, yeah, I know that you, but you want what you want, right? Like, it's okay. So, and so um, I started as a salesman and then because they knew that I was, I was in the know about computers and I learned really quickly about them, um, I started building some of the um, consumer sales ones that we did because this computer store built their own computers rather than um, just reselling some random brand uh, from the time, the HPs and uh, the Tandys and the... And it's exactly like building a PC right now, right? It was just that easy, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> building a PC today is a lot easier than it, it was back then. Um, and so I was doing that. So one other quick question, the chain, the daisy chain is here. Is that where you actually want it? Yeah. Cause the, these are the back. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, I did that and, um, and then our, our network technician, the guy that, uh, basically worked with customers to design and and build their uh, servers and network infrastructure for their companies, uh, got a job at the local community college. And um, so my boss was like, uh, I need somebody to do that. And so I said, well, I'll, I'll, I'll learn it. And so it took me, this was about a year and a half, year, year and a half after starting that this happened. And uh, so I, uh, in the span of four weeks, took all the certifications for my NT server, my A plus certification, which was at that time uh, eternal. You, you didn't have to update it like you do today. And then um, uh, I also got certified on uh, Netware, which was, was just a different uh, OS, network server OS uh, structure. Um, good at files. Uh, at the time, NT server was good at applications. Um, so knowing both meant I could set up an application server as well as a file server. And uh, so how many PCs did you end up building like during your time at this PC place? Uh, a lot. Probably somewhere between 12 and 1500. Okay. Computers in three years. 
Okay, so it was a lot of PCs. And PCs, like, what was the average price for a PC back then? 50 bucks? Mm, average price was actually still uh, $1,500 to $2,500 uh, per, um, per system. Uh, you could spend more if uh, you were getting some higher end things, components. Um, but then uh, um, not everybody was going to spend four or five grand on a system um, at the time. The and cool thing is that I did get to go through um, various architectures. Uh, so, you know, everybody today deals with uh, SATA, and that's all they, they deal with. Um, I, can't, I started at the end of RLL, MFM interface, uh, going into IDE interface, um, and then uh, it's where I learned SCSI is all that in a bag of chips. Um, for server stuff, not, not really for consumer stuff. Um, and then uh, watching as memory went from 32-pin uh, DIMMs and just kept changing, and you'd have to figure out which was the, the right um, configuration based on whatever you were building. And uh, drives went from like a standard, my very first 40 meg drive. Yes, I said that correctly. <laughs> 40 megabyte drive was uh, two inches by five and a quarter inches, it was a big metal beast. Um, and then they became three and a half inch drives and now, and then two and a half inch drives. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's been kind of amazing how it changed out. Um, after, after a few, few years there, like I said, three, three and a half years, I moved on to, um, became a network admin at a local company. And so I managed the, um, the network for the company and upgraded them from a very old archaic system to uh, essentially a local area uh, network or a man at the time, uh, putting in um, T1 lines between the main office and the uh, subsites, and then rewiring all of the, the between buildings at the main site with fiber, so it was running on a fiber backbone. And um, basically turned them from something very old to probably one of the most advanced networks at the time. And um, then one day my, my boss basically came to me, he's like, I really like you, I really want to uh, keep you here, uh, but you're never gonna get paid what you're worth. And so he encouraged me to find a new job. And then my epic journey started and I went um, applied to a contract position at Microsoft, uh, testing uh, video drivers in the direct display lab at Microsoft. And then I moved from there to um, the games group, uh, which was at that time called Sports and Racing, um, and started uh, testing games. Uh, my fir the first game I was testing was Motocross Madness 2. And then um, I, uh, in my time on that title, I converted to full-time and then went to games. I did officially and unofficially, I uh, helped out with uh, Midtown Madness 3. Um, let's see, what else did I work on? Some other stuff, and then um, I uh, worked on the first uh, Rally Sport Challenge, um, which is probably one of my favorite games uh, to have worked on. And then after Rally Sport Challenge, uh, I worked on uh, Quantum Redshift which was one of the last um, hovercraft uh, racing games of the, the, the 2000s. Like Wipeout. It was like Wipeout. Like, yeah, like Wipeout. It, was like, it was like Wipeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just essentially the, 
the market just died right when we shift uh, quantum redshift and so it was like it didn't do well um as a game but the entire genre just kind of died right at that time and then i became a test lead and i shipped my first job as a test lead was uh Hey, what's up, Only? How are you, man? We're just getting we're getting the backstory from Kevin, who's showing us how to do his build today. So we're we're getting the right now. We're working on the intake fans for the GPU. That's what it is. These are like a little bit complicated to kind of set up. So there was a, it's a little bit different than normally. Yeah. So uh, Rally Sport Challenge Two is the first title that I shipped as a test lead. Um, also, really great game. Um, I enjoyed working on it. I enjoyed working with the devs. Um, and then. Uh, I uh, got on a very small, little-known project after that uh, called, um, damn it. <laughs> he's, he's like going through his memory. I'm making him work at these. What was the orb jumping game? The what game? The orb jumping game. Not, oh, you're talking about the, uh, the, the, the game, the, the mini game one, the one that had a lot of games? No, 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 no. The, the big one, the Project Jones. Oh. Was the one, John Noonan was the test lead on the second one and third. Rookie, Veer, uh, Roby, what did you get shoot? Oh, we're, they're part of Soundstripe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Norik says, Microsoft secret project, project damn it. <laughs> Now is the big uh, city one where you run around, stop bad guys. <laughs> that's like every. That's like every. That's like every one. It was. It was the open world game that. Um, Azeric. <laughs> no. Roby, what graphics card should I update for about three to five hundred dollars? Um, 500 bucks, you can do, hey, BMOC, you can get, what's the, what's the price for a 6700 XT right now? Can you do that high? You can get them around 350. Yeah, so, and then what's, 6800 is what? What's a $500, when you think about 500? Yeah, that's about there, they're around, um, about 480, I think. I have to yeah, so you could actually get a 6800, yeah, yeah, there you go. 6800 might be a really, really good one for that price. Uh, if you wanted to go NVIDIA, unfortunately, you're going to be 3070, right? Because um, it's like, I and the 40, you, I wouldn't do a 4070, right? Because it's like, that's 500. Um, unless you really care about ray tracing games. Uh, it depends on the kind, what games do you play uh, for, uh, what kind of games are you going to play for that price? Yeah, 68, it's just a beast, right? Like right now, just with the way that prices kind of are laying right now when you think about best card, but really what it comes down to, it depends on what other games you play. Yeah, you're looking at 470 right now for a 6800 on Newegg. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good price, yeah, yeah. They've even got an open box Azrock, uh Phantom Gaming card right now for 420. That was three days ago, BMOC, 420. <laughs> Still get it. This lot. This is the last one. So far, you're happy with the fans and how it's kind of coming together. Yeah, I, I like this mounting method better than the traditional because I don't like the way that those screws tear into the plastic and um, can ultimately, if you have to mount and dismount it a lot, then you can end up uh, basically. The screws don't do anything because they just rip out all of the plastic. Yeah. Um, these, this is mounting the same way that you would to a radiator, so you have a nice reusable fit if you have to pull them out for any reason. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, how long does it take to build one computer on average? It really just depends. It, that that's actually a very it, it can it can it, it honestly can change. Uh, we can do it can be anywhere between. I think I've done it as fast as 20 minutes. I'd say a short build is about an hour and a half. Uh, builds that have a lot of complicated stuff, like kind of what we're doing, is usually in the three to four hour range. So understand, this is probably the what's going to taste the longest for any single thing to be done. Yeah, and this is just because there's a lot of things for that. Uh, Kevin, you still take a while because you just takes he takes a lot of pride in his work. 
So it, it'll still take a while to get it done for sure. But this one isn't, I mean, again, it's not an overly complicated build because the, fan, the AIO is pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of, you know, it's not like a Corsair where you have two cables per. It's actually just a single one. So it actually should be pretty good. Are you still able to get your hands on a brand new 3080 Ti 3090 nowadays? I think they've discontinued the 3080 Ti. I don't know if you can get a new one anymore, can you? I don't know, BMOC or you guys, have you seen? I don't think they sell them anymore. If you find them, they're usually scalped pretty high. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't think you can anymore, Kyotastic. Nowadays, it's like 40, I mean, again, at that point in time, you're buying 40, 70 Ti's, 40, 70, stuff like that. Hey, Roby. Um... I What's just that? looked up two and they got a 6800 XT brand new in box um, for 520 right now on New Age. And that's still a month away. So you can't only, buy that yet. That's only only $20 over that 500 mark. So yeah. if you wanted to stretch it a little bit, I mean, I think uh, it might be worth it right there to get that. Yeah, exactly. XT. You look at 4070 right. level uh, performance for Raster. Lord Prolapse, it is on the list. Uh, we'll probably get more into those. Yeah, I, they, we do need to do a custom loop here pretty soon. The last one that we did was a while ago, and uh, there is some. There has been some requests for them. Uh, they just take a while. They they take a while um, to kind of plan and get done. And they usually like the last one I did live on stream. How long was that stream? It's like 12 hours, guys, wasn't it? it was like really long uh, to do that to do that whole one. Yeah, the Halo build, exactly, call me Benji. That was just a really, really long build. Yep, for sure. Hey guys, we're 13, yeah, 13 subs away from hitting 50. So now we're trying to hit some of those goals, guys. And how are we doing the likes on YouTube? That's actually a pretty good price, uh, you might, but again, I'd rather, at that point in time, you should get, I, I, just, I feel like there's better options than buying a 3080. Uh, they do, I mean, it's funny, I have an unopened 3080 right here. We're trying to give it away on kick. We have an unopened 3080, like, just sitting right here, <laughs> literally sealed in a box. We're trying to give it away on kick, but it's, uh, yeah. Free is a good price. I mean, yeah, you can uh, get a 6950 XT for, for lower than that. For lower than free? No, but lower than that, 6996. <laughs> Uh, 3090 Ti just was never a good deal. Like it, when it came out, it was a good deal, but then the moment, it was like the 4090 came out so close after it. Yeah, I would not buy, buying used cards nowadays is just, it's risky. There's too many being dumped from scalpers and I mean, sorry, from uh, miners. Um, so 3060 is around the same price still. What, it's like, 290, 259, 299, somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah, 6950 XT is just a ridiculous price right now at co in terms of cost of performance. I would rather buy a 4080 over a used 3080 Ti or a 7900 XTX if you wanted to go AMD. I know some people are very, like, all about their particular brands. So if you're about a particular brand, then um, you know, and you want to go, in, uh, in, you want to go Nvidia. Then obviously a 4080 would be a better choice over a 4080 uh, over something like that. Yeah. Sergeant, nobody, no. Those are, we use those to to basically help get uh, get um, get subs. So. <clears throat> 1660 Ti, I mean, as bad as it sounds, for the same price as a 1660 or 1650, you could get a 6500. I have a, yeah, somebody's like, I have a 40, yeah, that's the, it's always the tough part, is people, like, what did people do with those cards, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's always, 1-800-CONTEXT, they can't have my brand. It, it, rookie, again, it's not that it doesn't work. There's just a lot of risk with doing it. That's all. You're, you're definitely going into some risk at that point in time. Uh, I think, well, I don't think there's any, there's not been, as far as I know, there's been leaks about the 4090 Ti and not a lot of leaks about the 4080 Ti. I haven't heard a whole lot in that regard. 
What's the price on that 3080? I'm looking for one in the 3090. How cheap is the market price? So Smoke bear, Beard, why would you buy a four? Like now it's like, well, I don't know why you'd go last gen. I do believe EVGA warranties do transfer, yes. As long as the card is within the warranty time. Doesn't matter. Is it not sitting flatter? I'm trying to. He's working on stuff, guys. Oh, thank you, Kyle. Like, I appreciate it. Okay, somebody's making cinnamon. Okay, did you hear that, BMOX? Somebody's having cinnamon chip scones. And what am I eating right now? Nothing. So, sorry, I'm Shelby. A recent Sonic Blast. I need, I need, you're having a Sonic Blast right now? Yeah, yeah Reese's. Oh, man. Man, Kevin, we need to order food, like at this point in time. Uh, as someone from EVGA is jumping to MSI or RG for my next card, a good choice for brands. Uh, RG is a great one, and MSI is also a good one. We've liked both of those cards. It's a bubble waffle kind of night. I don't know about bubble waffles. I don't know. It feels like more like a windy, spicy nuggets kind of night. I don't know. What are your? What, are you a huge fan of chicken nuggets, Kevin? He's like, man. He's a noodle guy. He likes noodles, like specifically Asian style noodles. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I actually have two PNY cards, two builds that have PNYs in them, and the fact that Falcon uses PNY, I have no complaints about the PNY ones. The 4090 ones are great. I just somebody uh, call me Benji just had an Oreo cookie dough blast. Um, one. Yeah. Spicy nugs. Yeah, spicy nugs are good. Ramen and sushi it is. There you go. Sushi. Does BFG... Yeah, he goes, sushi. Does BFG still make good graphics cards? I don't think I've used a BFG graphics card. Have either of you guys or Kilt or BMOC? I haven't heard that name in forever. Yeah, I haven't heard those in a... I haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah. A long time ago, I think, I think maybe uh, overseas, but yeah, I may have reprinted some of the stuff. Norex, a lot of people are sad about EVGA. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah, that's voodoo territory. Yeah, by the way, org, that new mic sounding good. <clears throat> You know what's funny, Spartacus, I do not know, because it seems like 4090 Founders Editions, I, I don't know if they've stopped making them. They just never seem to be in stock. Now, I knew, I do know they're still making them because <clears throat> there are still companies that are using FEs, like Falcon and all those other ones, but they don't seem to come on Best Buy very often. <clears throat> uh, do you like the Fractal Ridge? Um, the Fractal Ridge is a case that you just have to be specific about the hardware you put inside of it. <clears throat> wow. Okay, look at that. Avian Aces says, my local Best Buy has a few sitting in the store of 4090 FEs. Oh, that's nice. And uh, BFG yeah, went defunct in 2010. Okay, so no. BFG does not make still make good cards. They don't make cards. Um, so it sounds like some people, you, ju you may want to go into your local store at Best Buy and check if they actually have them in stock because it sounds like some stores may actually have fe's in stock which would be pretty cool because i would like i i it's funny because i've been trying to get one for a commission build how do you feel about liquid cooling in xbox one with ek water block stuff uh drunk husky that sounds like a great hobby project i don't know if there you don't really gain anything like origin did the big o which was actually pretty cool um, but I don't know if I do, like, outside of that, I don't know if there's anything much you really gain on top of it. Um, but it, it would be just a cool, fun project to do. <clears throat> I, Hogwai, I'm also curious if maybe perchance we're looking at, we're looking at 4090 Ti starting to get mace, you know? Yeah, Rookie Ver, I, a lot of us wish we had, like, a, a lot of us wish we had a, um, we had a uh, micro center right around the corner. Yeah, or there's org right there with some with some dropping some info. Oh, avian aces, that's brutal. I hate it when that happens. Thirty 
390 or 4070 Ti for gaming and paired with a Ryzen CPU. So a 4070 Ti and Scotty, I mean, ugh. it's funny because there's, it depends on what, Scotty, what kind of game are you gonna play? Uh, 4090, jumping to a 4090 from a 3080 Ti is better than going, yes. I think if you could go to a 4090 from a 3080 Ti, 4090 is just, let's be honest, 4090 is like the best card out. And I also say value of that card is actually pretty good too. Especially if you can get one at close to the $1,600 range, like the PNY, then that's a great card. And then it, it pretty much just does everything well. Um, the 4080 is like, it's about $200 too much. Um, I'd love to see, I'd love to see a 4080 for like a thousand or nine, you know, or like sub 999, that would be great. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, I, I don't know if buying a Strix 4090 uh, makes a lot of sense, but if you could do like a PNY, yours was like what, a 16, just like 1700, right? Like it wasn't that much. At the time that I got mine, it was uh, 1650. Yeah, see, so like even the one that we're doing now, the Gaming X Trio, you don't need to overpay for these cards. Happy birthday, Ron no, Stewart. No. What were you gonna say, Bimak? I would just add it, it you know, what you're gonna do with the card and your resolution target is gonna be a huge part of that too. You know, if you're playing a 4K, then a 4090 is a beast, but it, it scales down uh, in performance pretty heavy as you drop the resolution. Yeah, if you're doing 720p, then I think a 4090 is the card you want, right, Bimak? I mean, hey, if you got the money laying around. <laughs> Uh, I tarnish. If I was gonna recommend uh, ones, honestly, like buying any of the like the tough. If I was gonna buy a 4090 and buy the tough, the PNY, um, the MSI, um, the um, one that he's showing here, the Gaming X Trio, any of those are actually just great options because th there's not really a big need to overbuy. Um, I don't know if spending them unless you really wanted like the aesthetic look of like something like the Supreme or something like that. I don't know if it's worth the extra money. Um, and that's, and that's kind of one of the reasons you bought this one too, right, Kevin? Is like, you were just like, look, I just need the 4090. I don't need, the overclocking yeah, I, isn't something you're gonna do. I'm not worried about overclocking and I just want the, the horsepower of the 4090 to do what I need it to do. And overclocking just was overkill. So yeah, yeah. it was unnecessary. If you're not gonna overclock, there isn't a reason to go above, you know what I mean? So uh, the Gaming X Trio, I would get the, like, if it depends on the motherboard and stuff. Again, you, you try and pair things up because then you don't end up with a lot of overhead. <clears throat> uh, this new, I used to go to Fry's in Seattle quite a bit until right prior to COVID because something weird happened with uh, basically their distributors and it got it like it was just dead there was like nothing theirs yeah it, the fries was super sad it was empty um the stuff they had on shelf was like weird uh and then they never got pc parts but when they were at their height we used to go there quite a bit actually um because they we didn't have an option oh wow that's even that's sad org uh we had I don't a know if my, PSA. I, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if Micro Center will ever come to Canada. I'm not sure. I, we used to have what was the one, the red one, Circuit City. That one wasn't bad. It was good for TVs. But at its height, Wittigo, you're right. You could spend hours in there. Those days have were pretty much dying when I when like near the end. It was really bad. You have Canada computers. It's like your Micro Center. Yeah, Skylab, I, it's funny because we were, we, I was actually talking to a UK person about that very thing and they said the same thing. I do like Asus Tough products. Again, the one thing I've actually been really impressed with MSI is like, and you'll see this with the new Z790 boards, is that MSI will actually has, it'll let you download all the drivers and not even download MSI Center. So it'll say, hey, here's all the drivers and you don't even have to put it in there, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so I've actually been really impressed with what MSI has been doing They've been kind of they've been kind of up in their game. I've been pretty impressed. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, you know it's funny. I haven't used a bunch of ASRock, uh, and I'm not going to say that one is better than the other. I'm just saying MSI has been way better. 
Um, and the overhead, the overhead on some of the ASUS software is actually pretty high. But at the same time, ASUS has done a lot for innovating uh, in this uh, in this world, right? With things like their a lot of their Q latch and all that sort of stuff. So um, you know, I, I'm not going to ever fault ASUS. Like we've been, I've got uh, plenty of ASUS systems that are in my uh, that are that we built and I use. So yeah. Okay. You want to stick stuff inside of that or no? Potentially. Oh yeah, he hasn't thought about it yet. Okay. Okay, here we got a beautiful board. Love this board. This is the Z790 uh, Micro Center one. I'm sorry, Z790 Tomahawk. I don't know why I said my, we've been talking about it. Is it click time? Click time's coming up, but first we got to put the CPU in and see if the socket cover clears the VRM. And that's been going for a little while. Yeah, Yodak, yes, that has been better. I've just had a lot of issues with Gigabyte boards, like losing, like having their LAN ports die and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping it gets better. Gigabyte supports this channel a lot. So they keep trying to give, you know, they keep trying to give us more chances. It's not a poll, it was actually a, uh, it wasn't a poll, it was a prediction. No, you can Do use two different ones, Marshall, what? Do your thing. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see, guys. We're gonna do my thing. He's gonna let me install the only part I will put on this drive. And I better not mess it up. Okay, here we go. Will it clear? Oh, well, it will do it, and then we're gonna basically remove mm -hmm. it and put in the contact frame. Okay, so we're gonna find out, and I forgot we're gonna put the contact frame on. But we just want some, some joy. Okay, here we go, guys. Will it clear is the question. MSI has a good chance. Oh, it did not clear. It got pretty high though, but it did not clear. That was like, it, it felt it. I wonder if I did it again. We're gonna try it one more time. Do it again. Cause sometimes it'll do it. I, I just wanna see, like, can we get it? You just gotta be slow when you put it down. Nope, nope, that's just, nope, that's it. It's done. The answer's no. Okay, time to do contact frame. What do you want, where do you want me to just put this stuff for now? Just off the side? No, we're kind of here. Oh, right here. This that's is your. That's for your. Okay. Count later. Okay, he's got stuff for his count, but you do need the contact frame, my friend. Yes. Sir. There you go, sir. Contact frame. Okay, contact frame time, guys. <clears throat> Rip CPU. Um, have you heard about the new Diablo game killing 3080 Ti cards? I did hear about that. There was a bug. They've already they addressed it in the second beta. And it was found in the first beta and they addressed it by the second beta. Oh, nice, Sergeant Nobody, congratulations. Hey guys, we are 13, let's get those last 13 subs. Let's get to 50, let's see if we can get to 100. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, Jace 2 cents talked about it. It is kayatastic, they already fixed it. Yes, it's safe for you to play, you're good to go. Can we see, can somebody make it going? We've been getting so close. Uh, so there was a similar bug in what was it? One World wasn't that the Amazon game? And it was just they weren't they were it was the game doing some not so good New stuff. World. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. New World, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's Kevin Days to Shine. He's the man behind. What does that mean, Org? <laughs> what does that mean? Org's gonna be quiet. <laughs> he does do a lot of work for me. He's, yes, my team, I cannot do this by myself. It takes a team, doesn't it, Kevin? We have a lot of stuff that we have to do. Yeah, he, we all do. There's a bunch of people who do work so we can continue to be successful here. Yeah. There's an RTX 3060 on Amazon for 319 for 319 bucks. Is that a good deal? Um I mean it's it, I mean it's not a it's not terrible. It's not I mean I'm just trying to think when you think about you can get a you can get 
for like $30, what is it, like $30 more BMOC that you can get a 6700, which is a pretty big jump over a, a 3060. Yeah, but, you can get a base uh, 6700 non-XT for uh, right around that price, if not 300 now. Still has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, which is like, a, so again, it's just, I'm not saying that's not a good deal or bad deal when you put it inside of the, when you put it inside of that price. I'm just giving you an, yeah, or you can do a 6650, which is like a 3060 Ti. Um, yeah, so it's just like one of those things that I, I like, I'd like to give you value, right? Like, so you understand it. But again, if you have certain things that NVIDIA, like it, like whether that, I don't know if Cyberpunk's not a good example, but certain other DLSS titles that you care about and, and, uh, and uh, um, doing ray tracing is a bigger deal. It's something to just be considered of, yeah. Uh, Smokebeard, AMD is much better, much stronger from a raw performance standpoint for the price right now, especially at the low end, yeah. That's right, Jeb, we're all out of gum. Uh, why did you replace, so Kyatastic, this is basically, this allows you to, one of the things that we have is sometimes the, the, the AIO and the cover doesn't actually get fully touched. And so what these contact frames do is they keep it from bending slightly and allows the AIO to do a better job of touching the entire surface of the IHS and cooling the CPU. It's also helping pull heat and it laterally also, away. Yeah, and it helps pull the heat laterally away as well. Do those T30s work independently with their modes when daisy chained? Yes. yes, they do. You can actually set them independently. The switch is actually, the hardware is the determiner. It's so a you could actually, switch. Yeah, so you could actually chain, have like one running on performance, one running in advance, and one running on quiet. Isn't that what the other one is? Hybrid. Hybrid, that's right, yeah, yeah. Would you use, you can use a contact, yes, you could absolutely use a contact frame under a water block, for sure. That's essentially, I mean, an AIO is still a water block, yeah. Uh, Kyotastic in most cases, yes, we'd recommend them. Though Intel isn't entirely sure yet what the long-term effect is because the frame, the actually, the way that they built the um, sockets is it's supposed to slightly bend. But I mean, for temps, there's no arguing the impact that the, the contact frame has on temps. Uh, yes, we have done custom water cooling loops for sure. Both Kevin and I, um, multiple times. And we've done some live too. Uh, the CMOS battery will be covered for, for the most part by the GPU. There isn't any lighting on this board that I know of, right? Nope. No, yeah, it's all it's all dark. Yeah. Yeah. The GPU is essentially going to sit right here. Yeah, so it'll... it'll you might see this outer edge, but the GPU is going to cover everything here. The only thing that will be visible are is the drive mounts here and the the third second PCI slot. The 5700X is a, is a, yes, you should get a 5700X over a 5700G. 5700G is actually an older CPU. Yeah, that's why, the, the, that's the thing that's so good about the Tomahawk boards is just what the Tomahawk boards represent in terms of value. It's like, I, I always talk about these also with Western Digital. Western Digital C, uh, uh, hard drives are like, if value and performance had a baby, it's kind of the same thing with Tomahawk boards. If value and performance had a baby, it would be as tall as Kevin. Um, it would be as tall as Kevin, um, but also look really good. There we go. I don't know where that was going with that. There are a total of four M.2s. So you can see they're actually physically labeled on the board. One, two, and then there's two at the bottom. So there's four total. So I actually, it's funny, that's in this room right now. Somebody's asking, do I like the Lancol 3 or the 216? We actually have the 216 sitting right here. Yep. So the Lancol, I, the Lancol 216 is actually really nice because of the massive fans at the front. Uh, but the Lancol 3 is actually capable of a 420 millimeter AIO. Uh, would you say the same thing about value and price with that Intel CPU? Yes, the 13900K also has, well, that's the thing is like, it's not 13900Ks and 7950Xs and even 7900XTXs aren't a value slash price CPU. You're paying extra money for the extra performance that it necessarily gets you. So like a 13600 or a 7800X3D are more your value, value performance type CPUs 
Or B mock anything to add to that? You can do 420 on the top, yes. Theoretically. Yeah, I was, I was uh, typing on the Discord, so I missed out what you were talking about. Well, they just said, would you consider that i9-13900K or, or also, respectively, a 7950X or 7950X3D a value performance CPU? And I was like, no. Value performance, those are high end, which you're paying a lot more for the extra performance at the top end in the binning versus like a value CPU, value performance CPU with like a 13.6 or a 7800X3D uh, would be more what I consider those like that, that, the branded specifically CPUs for that. Yep, yep. hit the nail on the head, 100%. Uh, how much speed do you lose after the first M.2? Out factors for the ones that we're doing, you, you shouldn't. It's sometimes when you deploy all four, you should be fine. Or actually may have a better answer for that. It's it's only the, the there's one M.2 generally that shares its channels with the, the SATA plugs here. And whichever M.2 uh, shares, then that's the one that's gonna lose its performance. The rest all get their, their normal allotment of, of channels. Um, and you can, you can minimize that reduction by actually turning off the SATA if you aren't going to use it. So then you don't lose those channels on the on that last M.2. Yeah. So I don't know if Org, if you have anything to add to that or not. It's just something I know that you you, you think a lot about, especially when you talk about lanes. Because you do have lane limitations on motherboards for sure. And then if you start filling stuff up, you start to reduce lanes. Thirteen nine hundred. So value is such a relative statement, K uh, Kavian. Um, the thirteen nine hundred K and the seventy eight hundred X three D and all of them, they all trade blows. Seventy eight hundred X three D is probably the best value gaming CPU just for the thing of gaming. Obviously, a thirteen nine hundred K can do a lot more than just gaming, and that's why you know that's why they that's why AMD also created the seventy nine hundred X three D because. It can do both. But the other thing too is in terms of just raw performance, the 1300K is still a beast. Yeah. It's okay with an, I run, my girlfriend's here. Okay, that's not, that's good to know. Uh, is there a link to the cold plate? Yes, we do have a link. I'm sorry, Tom's probably frustrating. We do have a link. Tom, can we get a link for the, uh, the contact frame? And I'll add that to the description for sure. So right now, oh, we gotta do clicks, CPU clicks. What are you working on here? I'm just kidding. Uh, Motherboard screws? Just validating it. Oh, he's just validating the screw sizes right now. Uh, no, Maui, you have to understand the 7800X3D is almost, is it, the, the amount of CPU usage at, four, at, four, at uh, 4K is so limited. You're not gonna have any CPU that's really gonna bottleneck anything at 4K. We got RAM clicks, what do we, uh, Let's see, uh, Org, what's our, well, how loud is the RAM gonna be today? If you're gonna give it a decibel limit. Not entirely sure. We have some Fury RAM and MSI board, so I'm thinking at least 95. Okay, 95, we're gonna get that, we're gonna get that up. Org says 95, is it true or false? Go ahead and get the vote in there. I so the rumor it. is Araxinus is that they're going to fix it with a BIOS update. That's like what they've said, so. You ready for some RAM clicking? You need your RAM, right? I will. Let's do the RAM clicks. Okay, I'm gonna do the RAM clicks, guys. So nice and ready for you. Okay, here we go. He lets me do all the stuff that has to <laughs> My wife says false. The brand, it's the Thermal Right, just so you know, uh, Tom. The Thermal Right uh, contact frame. Okay, here we go, guys. First one. He says 95. I feel like that's this is gonna be an easy win here. Hey, Tom, it's a Thermal Right. <clears throat> Bracket. Oh, prediction isn't done yet. We have, wow, that's a long prediction. Okay, so we're gonna kill a little bit of time here. Wait, Brenda's here? 
I didn't see Roby 2. Did Roby 2, was Roby 2 here? Is the MSI MEG X670 E Ace? Yes, that's a great board. Yes. I like that board. So we'll give it a couple minutes and we'll get to it here in a minute. Ram clicks 90 or higher. Thank you everybody for doing subs and everything else today. You guys are amazing. Super appreciate you. How are we doing likes on YouTube while we're going at it? Pretty good, pretty bad, doesn't matter. 152 guys, we're less than 100 away from uh, getting this, uh, unlocking that giveaway. Uh, smoke beard three. Okay, so what we decide? What did we determine for four hundred? What we you said four hundred. What's our best option for four hundred, Bmock? And then we can get you one. Uh, we can get you. We can get you a link for that. Sixty-seven. You can do a sixty-seven fifty, right? Sixty-seven fifty for that. For six hundred. Four hundred. Three fifty to four hundred. Oh, four hundred dollars. We're looking at maxing out at a sixty-seven fifty XT. Yeah, can we, uh, can we, so Tom, can we get a 6750 XT link? That'd be awesome. <clears throat> yeah, that's that absence of logic. That's why we don't, that's, I, we just use the thermal, right? I don't like, I don't actually recommend the thermal grizzly one because it's actually, you have to be really good. Tom says busy. Okay, he's busy. He will get you a link at some point in time. Predictions done. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Clicks coming in. So first one, 95 or higher. Oh, we gotta stop the music. Ooh, that was 98.6 on that one. Ooh, that was another one, 96.3. That's some loud clicks, guys. Wow. 98 in both of those. Those are really loud. Those are like seriously loud. There we go, 98. There it is. The answer is, Org was right. Hopefully a lot of people got in on that one. Yeah, Kingston loud for sure. Org surprised, was that louder than you expected? Oh, you need this chair back? All right, no. Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. Next one coming up. Ooh, Sergeant Nobody with double win. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see that a little bit better. There we go. So this is you, now you are hiding cables behind the motherboard, right? That's what you're working on right now. Why are you taking these off? Just give me access. Okay, so it's just making it a little easier for you to pull them through. Okay, guys, you're seeing you're seeing him how he does the same. If there was PC maintenance that could be compared to changing oil in your car, what would that be? Uh, honestly, the only thing that <clears throat> kind of exists is AIOs, I'm sorry, for water cooling, and that's changing your liquid. Wait, wrong RAM? What do you mean, what's wrong with the RAM? <clears throat> what do you mean, Araxness? Oh. Oh, what? Oh, did we send it? Oh, we sent a different one? Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's RGB. I can see what the actual, uh, we have the thing here. It's Kingston. Uh, 6,000 mega transfer, CL36. CL36, 38, 38, uh, 1.35. And this is Expo and XMP. Oh, Kevin sent it, not me, Tom. Don't be mad. Plus, we need to keep you on your toes, right, Tom? Why 
Well, we got it fixed. We're getting it fixed. So he'll he'll get a new link. And then somebody had asked about a four uh, a 6700 XT, Tom. I don't know if you're, you said you're busy though. What did I do wrong? You got to degauss your USB cables roughly every six months. I've never heard that before. Really? If you're degaussing, then you've got a serious EM problem. <laughs> power. Hey, Mark, I'm over here on the other side. He's, uh, we're building, Ke uh, Kevin's doing his build today. Oh, should I go to side camera? So you can see a little bit better. Okay, we're going to side camera here. Don't worry, guys, it's still me. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Uh, Spartacus, it is, uh, Z790 has gotten a whole lot better. So yes, if you want to go Z790 at this point in time, uh, you're, uh, if you're paying less, if you're paying more for it versus the Z690, it comes down to what you're paying. The Z690E is still a great board. Yeah. Oh, Made in America. There you go right there. Who is that for? Somebody, there's, a, there's the build for the best, uh, the best, uh, card there. Tom's working overdrive overtime today. Oh, you just being a twerp. <laughs> yes, I do remember degaussing CRTs. Oh yes, you remember that the degauss button? Oh yeah. Well, and I remember CRTs on their uh, VGA or and or DVI connectors. They had vast, massive. Um, magnets to uh minimize the end builder oh wow okay uh do you remember it says which case is better cable management this case or the 5000d what do you think kevin you built them both i think this one's a little bit better i think there's just a little bit more room to do what you want with the cables you have a lot more choice in the matter of where cables go and how uh they can look whereas the um the uh, 5000D, you're more limited on kind of where things can go and why. So this is you, right now what you're doing is you're placing all your cables for cable management optimization. Yeah, so there's, there's two ways to do it. I'm, since we are on stream, I'm, I'm doing it the faster way, which is I'm laying out the cables in their uh, general position that they're gonna be at when they come around on the cable or on the motherboard. Um, rather than, a, a lot of times I will just drop them through one at a time after I put the motherboard in. It's just, that's a little bit more time consuming. So um, I'm doing it this way to try and um, go out. So what you can see me doing is I'm laying out cables. So this, this is the HD audio cable here, um, which on the motherboard is down in this corner. And then this is the, the rear exhaust fan. I'm gonna plug it into a fan header that's right next to uh, this uh, mount point here. So it's gonna basically wrap up just into the motherboard right there. Um, then this, this is for the, the, these three fans, uh, the E-loops. Um, they're gonna uh, basically go uh, behind the motherboard here and just wrap up. Um, and then this is the front panel here. And then I've also got the front fans here and then the RGB for the front fans. Um, so there's a little bit of uh, manhandling going on right now um, to get all of the, the cables to do what I want them to do. And then... Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. It fell, it fell on the floor. So we then we just carefully slide the motherboard in relative to those brackets. And there you go. Is it feeling pretty good? So then we can just, you can see I can just bring that up here. And that's really going to be hidden because the GPU is going right there. So we don't have, we're going to minimize our cables and then we have our fans, which are going into this one. Route cable's gentle like a hamburger, that's right. And then... Walks 
So Penwalt, it, I mean, the, 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 it's still sending a signal, right? It's still a two-way communication. So we've actually shown that if you watch the review, oh, I don't actually, never mind, we didn't show it, but it does, it works just fine. So when you switch the, when you switch it to the other one, it'll actually even change the voltages based on uh, if you're an advanced or regular. Use your screwdriver. I like to put these in by hand just because cross-threading these can be really bad. Yeah, I use the larger, the like the Be Quiet one that you have. Just to be, yeah, he's just being gentle with the with the with the Mobo screws. And by the time when he's done, the thing is, is this is usually a step that I do in addition. But in this case, he'll have all his front panels for the most part hooked up prior because he just hid them underneath the the uh, motherboard. So so far, have you guys learning anything? Are you guys enjoying the new? like seeing it a little bit different from somebody else and just his thought process and things. We wanna make sure that you guys see different build techniques, et cetera, if we can, just to bring them into on the channel and show stuff that's new, you know? We're gonna, oh, just getting the thing in. Good, I'm glad, Lund. Well, Figment, he has his own, right? Because he does the same thing. <laughs> They're like, why aren't you using his cool tools? It's like he has, he's using his. If you over tighten these, you would get the bad click. But yes, he isn't, uh, he's not doing the, he doesn't get the bad click. And he, it would be hard to do that with, uh, with, this, with that particular screwdriver. I'm glad Zero Gravity. Like to do stuff that's new for sure. So people can see something that's different as much as we can on the show. So we've got our, you're only, the only thing you have left from a fan sim, you've got all the fans in at this point in time. All you gotta do now is just your uh, AIO stuff, for your AIO fans. And that, and honestly, there's not a lot of cable for the, uh, for this AIO. No, the AIO goes really quick because I, don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, he was back there. He has a giant water bottle, guys. You thought my water bottle was big? His water bottle's massive. It's not as big as Zeistan's, but it's still pretty big. I'll show you guys his water bottle. Here is the, it's called the Iron Flask. There you go. 64 ounces. 64 ounces of needing to urinate right here. There it is. But here's his versus mine. So mine is quite a bit smaller. It's the camera doesn't help. I'll do it static. Here we go. There we go. There's the difference in the two, two right there. Yeah, there you go. So quite a bit, yeah. It's not the size that counts. Nice. In this case, for the water bottle, it does. It, it definitely helps you with it. How many times you have to fill yeah, it up? Yeah, exactly. It's a reservoir. Okay. So now he's just going through and putting his his things back on. Okay, prediction is up for zip ties now, guys. For total zip ties. Right now we're even. Getting his last connections plugged in. Have you seen the RGB water bottle with the app? Yes, I, uh, uh, Mark. It's actually been on the show. I use it. Um, I use it. I use it on the show. Um, it's not here today, but I have. I used it on Monday. I have that RGB water bottle, and it's green, and it lights up when I need to drink. And we used it. it was like last week we had it on here. Uh, Moa, of course. Yeah, we're going to try and do... We, uh, I know that there's a couple that are supposed to be in the works. For the collaborations, anyway. So what are you working on? Just pulling some camera, some stuff in from the side? Just pulling the... The cables through. Oh, so they're tighter. Pulling them back, so... 
So there you go, guys. All those cables are now hidden with the motherboard. So now we have the front panel, which is going behind the motherboard. We have the fans here, and then we have the HD audio front fans. So they're what this is saving is cables like going out or coming out into this big block area here uh, or up over into this. Um, makes it a little bit easier for me to hide them. Uh, I don't have a lot of recommendations on, uh, I don't have any a lot of recommendations on, um, on home security cameras now. Will the door close with the GPU? So we actually have, a, because we're using a Gen 5, uh, we're using a Gen 5 uh, uh, PSU, the cable won't have any issues with that. Yeah, those EFAM, they do look really good. So he's just running the last, the top cables. Uh, my RGB cable ended up on the wrong side of one of the screws, so I just had to... Yeah, to fix it. So it's coming together. So far, are you happy with the build, Kevin? Yeah. As it's looking? He still hasn't decided what the first game he's going to play is. Asus group is full of tinfoil hat talk over Asus removing BIOSes from their website. Oh, interesting. Okay. Roblox. Somebody says you should play Roblox first, Kevin. <laughs> so which camera is focused right now? Uh, right now, it's over here. Yep. Okay. So... This kind of shows why I do behind the motherboard. So you have this big section here. So instead of this cable coming out and being pulled somewhere, it's immediately dropping behind the motherboard. So all you see is this, and that's all you'll ever see. Um, and then this, uh, the rear power supply uh, header. Now it's nice and clean down there. So. Looks really good. So now, what's the next step? So you've got all your cables kind of hidden for now. Well, the next step. He says, somebody says, how about a nice rousing round of Minesweeper? <sighs> I'm all about Minesweeper. Expert, man. That's right, you do enjoy that. You, play, you actually play quite a bit of mobile games, too. Yeah, he is hiding the cables behind the MOBO. Okay, and people are saying they like the uh, they like the uh, they like the technique so far. So what's next? What are you, what are we working on next? Okay. Well, we still have to come back and clean all this up, but um, let's go ahead and run these two. Okay, so we're going to our uh, USB 3.2 and all that sort of stuff right now. Yeah, and that's why I wanted you guys to see it. Just a little bit more of a cable management. Uh, some tutorial stuff so you guys can kind of see how that works. It's just trying to make sure it's not spun around. That's always one thing to check, right? He's like, you're seeing him on the other side. He's spending some time making sure that it's not twisted. Is the build list on the website? Yes, it is. As far as I know, uh, Kevin puts all of them. It should be robytech.com slash builds. Yeah, there you go. And, he, and it, it actually might be even more up to date than the links. Do we have one of those ribbon connectors? Uh, yeah, I can go look for one. You'd, is that what you want to use? Yeah, it's just that's going to stick up. And... Okay, let me go find a ribbon connector. Keep them entertained, Kevin. Do a dance. <laughs> you don't want to see me dance. I want to see you dance. Dance, boy, dance. Who wants to see Kevin dance? Get a, get a, get a, raise your hand in the chat. Ace Attack, where's all of our, no wait, we do have them. I just gotta find them. More fan cables, Ooh, we only have one left of those. There we go, found it. He's just gonna ignore chat, so it's not really. There you go. <laughs> So what is, show them what you're putting in there. So this is a ribbon extension for your uh, front uh, USB 3 uh, connector. Uh, it just helps create a cleaner look by uh, putting it in. It's not long enough. Uh, so some of those, some of these connectors will have uh, a flat cable 
and then I can actually run it under the, behind the motherboard and, and come around. Um, this one does not have, this has big round, so they are more difficult to bend um, the way you want it. So um, by putting this in, I can s prevent having that big double loop um, of cables that are ever present. Just not attractive, yeah, yeah. So now I've taken that and turned it into something a lot smaller and um, visually appealing um, that I can manage in the back with the actual connection. There we go, and there it goes. Now it's nice, nice and hidden and looks a whole lot nicer. So, yeah, so the only cables that I will have here are the, uh, uh, the motherboard extension cable and the USB-C. Um, I'm doing the USB-C this way because uh, this sits really close and I don't have um, a lot of, I could slide it back, but I want to keep it nice and covered as much as possible. Um, so, it's looking good so far, guys. What do you guys think? Looking nice and clean thus far. Okay, what is, oh, we're doing our, we're doing our, we're doing cables already, huh? Well, oh, I want to put these in before I put the AIO in. This will be a Windows 11 PC, yes, for sure. Try to keep it right. Now, guys, we are going to have a light uh, after next week that will be sitting behind here that'll shine more on the black build, so it should make more light. I actually could do if wanted to. I think we have, the, I don't know if the light's up here. I might go grab the light downstairs so we can just get a little bit more light inside the build so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab a light so you guys can see. Oh, oh. these are really awesome in the way they're color coded. Sorry, I gotta, they have them backwards the way, from where I want the combs to look, and they've also got them twisted, which is not cool. Don't know why they have them twisted. a little bit better in terms of what's going wow that's really bright <laughs> that's like blowing you blowing you out bright there we go guys a little bit better now you can see a little bit more does that help When we purchased the parts, uh, when we purchased the parts, well, I'll tell you, I'll let you, hey, Riddick, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. I really appreciate it. And we're like, we're now only eight subs away. Riddick dropping five over there. Only eight subs away from unlocking the $50 new gift card. Somebody asked, why choose the 1300K over the 7800X3? Um, it's personal preference in a lot of ways, right? It's primarily personal preference. There's some engineering stuff and some history stuff that all goes into that. Um, but for the most part, it's 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 my personal preference. I muted, sorry guys, I'm, I'm back, sorry. Uh, so he was personal preference. Now that I, I just muted to go downstairs because you didn't, you didn't want to hear me running down there. So there you go. So there you go. And that's okay, people can have personal preference. Do you have Windows Millennium Edition? What? <laughs> Wow, somebody's going like, yeah, uh, we're not, yeah, we're not gonna do so any. So for all the Windows Millennium haters out there, one of my first jobs back when I said I was on uh, a um, direct display team at uh, Microsoft, I did a lot of uh, graphics testing, driver's testing uh, for 
um, what was then ATI and now uh, Radeon, AMD Radeon. Um, NVIDIA um, and many other drivers, Trident. Um, and uh, we were, Mar Lab was one of the first to start using Millennium. And honestly, to this day, I, I for us in the lab, uh, Millennium was one of the best uh, 9X uh, kernels uh, ever. Um, the one of the things that frustrated all of us in the lab is there were two or three key options that were turned on by default or off by default. And those options uh, impaired uh, Millennium's overall performance, um, which is what most users ended up experiencing because they didn't know to change these two or three settings. Um, once you change those settings, Millennium was um, outside of going to NT kernel, uh, which you know became Windows XP um, shortly thereafter. Um, that was you know Millennium was the the best uh, 9x kernel out there because it was a two 32-bit operating system and you could uh, basically do all the necessary updates to um, basically make it run any DOS game, any Windows game, anything, and run it really well. And each DOS game got their own file for executing that, and uh, so you didn't have to try and optimize based on a bunch of different games like you did with Win9X. Uh, like Win98 and Win95, you had to have an all-encompassing auto-exec back winconfig.sys, and um, not something you had to do with Windows Millennium because you just had a custom uh, file for each of your games. Um, so Millennium's kind of a, I know a lot of people don't like Millennium uh, because of, uh, it just got, had poor performance out of the box, uh, which was technically true, but it's kind of a my, one of the, my favorite operating systems to work on back in the day. Did you ever run Microsoft Bob? Uh, no, but <laughs> I've, I've run Windows for so long and Office for so long that I didn't need to enable an assistant to. Yeah, that was the, that was the one that Melinda worked on, like when she met. No, NG, uh, he's uh, he's actually going to be running Microsoft Bob. That's what like we the, we uh, were uh, shout out to Melinda Gates. Uh, we just wanted to give it like this is like her chance to show off some of her OS work. Yeah, does anybody did anybody ever run Microsoft Bob? Were you in the chat? Did anybody in the chat ever run a Microsoft Bob? Bob and Clippy were best buds. I, I had Microsoft Bob. I only run it for the lulls. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, it's interesting, right? Like, it's like, I know Clippy. Oh, never heard of it? Yeah. Microsoft Bob was like, when, was that 95? It might have been 98. It was old. Bob was uh, early to mid 90s. Yeah, so it was like it was like old. It was like you'd have to like really like it's like probably predates most of you, I think. I miss Clippy. You, like I think Clippy should come back. I think there should be a Clippy plugin. Uh, it's fly by me. They're not cheap, but we could get a link if we wanted to. It's up to Tom if he's willing to drop a link for the uh, for the light. It's the Nan Light Pavo Tube. Uh, these are their smaller ones. Uh, Ray, uh, there's also one from Elgato that you could get if you didn't want to use something like this. Somehow put Clippy in all future builds. <laughs> we should try and find a way to get Clippy in there. It looks like you're trying to stream. Let me reset your audio drivers for you so it totally messed up your OBS audio settings. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Poor org. OK, 
Okay, so we're getting in the red and black because this is an Intel build that's going to be red and black because <laughs> Kevin's colors are fa his favorite color is red and black. Yeah, we definitely need to run Windows 11. Well, honestly, Chat GPT is changing things, though. You gotta, you gotta grit, Mister Mister uh, Kasaba Tooth, Kasaba Toth, Kasaba Toth, maybe Kasaba Tooth. I don't know how you'd say that. Oh man, Media Center was awesome. I miss Media Center. I was so bummed when that stopped. That is the light on the build, Plastic Star. He, uh, Tom just linked it. Yeah, I know. That's what I was telling you, expert. <laughs> it's, it's not. There are cheaper versions. <laughs> Tom's like, it's not cheap. We have like, we have like, ten, like four or five of them. In my garbage pile. Okay. I'll go stick it on, on the uh, over here. Okay, what's next? Yeah, I hope. AI, 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 O. It's time for the AIO, guys. It would just actually be pretty quick because honestly, it's just, it's actually a very simple build, a sim simple AIO to build. That is, that is that, it's fly by me. That's what he's talking about. That is that light. Uh, Malwa, I'm not doing it this time, but I don't think Tom, I don't think he'll forget. Yeah, that, that light that's up here is the one. It's $759. They're not, they're not cheap. Luckily, this case has a lot of places to put it. There you go. Oh, he gets, he's like, he's like, that's helpful. <laughs> Sorry. Did it, oh, did it really? Did Microsoft Bob give us Comic Sans? I did not know that. So they added Thread Director to 10? I didn't know that. Did you know that? That they added Thread Director to, like, you can do Windows, you can do, uh, I did not know that. Like, people are, like, talking classic Windows stuff right now. Turn it around. And backwards. Can you get it out? Yeah. Remember the start menu in Windows 8. Maybe I don't. So the Elgato, it's called the Elgato key. Oh, let me look it up right now for you, uh, Tom. I actually really like it too. Um, Uh, let me look. I'm looking at it right now. It's called... Well, where is it? Jeez. Uh, I'll look at it. I don't know if you... I'm only looking at Elgato's site. It's like, it's like the Keylight Mini or something like that. I don't know if it's... I'm, I'm wondering if it's on here. Lighting, key light mini, yeah, that's exactly what it is. The Elgato key light mini. And that thing is actually really good and just as good as this and far less. It's $99 versus uh, $750. Yeah. This is just your other, this is you getting the other lights in, the other fan. It's getting the cables in for the RGB and the fan for the AIO? AIO. Okay. What is going on? Wait, did how do people 
getting light. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Elgato Key Light Mini. That's a great option if you don't want to do, if you can't get the Nan Light. The Nan Light does a lot of other stuff that you don't necessarily need versus what the Key Light Mini does. And the Key Light Mini you can actually control from the app as well, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, so thank you very much for finding that, Tom. I think people like Linus. I don't think I don't think there's any non-Linus fans here. I mean, we've done stuff with Linus, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he says I don't like Linux. Oh, he's talking about Linux. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Kiltman, that's usually what happens. <laughs> Y'all got baited. Yeah, it's coming together. It's actually looking pretty good so far. Okay. How are we doing likes on YouTube? It's got to be pretty close. It was. It was a while ago. I don't know if it was. Was it three? It might have been three years. It might have been two years ago. It was COVID time, so it might have been two years ago. Maybe three. Sorry. Yeah, head over to YouTube, guys. Make sure you hit that like. But maybe you might be right. It might be three. Okay, here we go, guys. Working on the fans now. Working on the. Let's go to top down so we can show people. This is him putting the uh, AIO together. A I A I O. Remember, in this particular AIO, they do give you 24 long screws. The thing is, don't use the longer ones. Because they are for the halos. They're for the halos. So you have, to, you have to basically size them all out, and it takes an extra step. And you can see that the halo is about three uh, millimeters or so longer than the standard one. Uh, Kevin, yes. Uh, my, uh, Bill, yes. Y you should watch uh, Pirates of Silicon Valley. is a great like uh, documentary about how Microsoft uh, helped save Apple um, at the time. Um, but now, I mean, now you don't have to worry about it, yeah. What's the number one selling app on uh, iOS? Yeah, now it is. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, it's not like they needed it back then. But now it's it's interesting, right? Because they're all best. We're all best friends now. Well, they are all best friends. Halos like the real. No, they have halos. Hey, Valknight, thank you for the the dollar ninety nine. Uh, the halos. There are halos lights for um, the thermal take, and it's funny because the D thirties, the new D thirties from thermal t uh, from sorry from Fantex are like integrated halos inside of them. Yeah. Hey guys, we are seven subs away from unlocking that $50 new A gift card. And then we are 68. We're actually, we're getting up on the, the um, we're at 68 subs over here on, uh, on uh, Kick as well. So thank you very much for the $1.99 though. I appreciate it. So you're just, you're just getting, finding all the right ones. Yeah, making sure that I don't use the Halo. He doesn't want. He doesn't want. He doesn't puncture his motherboard. I mean, puncture his radiator. Tom does great work for a stoner for Vien. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget, up for grabs here on Roby Tech. We got that forty seventy system for both Discord subs and also for uh, Twitch subs if you want to get in on that. And the other thing too is just worth knowing guys, all in all, um, with uh, those giveaways is that if you double up on that giveaway, then you, you basically get two, you get double the entries uh, if you're a Discord sub. And the Discord, we just did our AMA. We have another one coming up with uh, on Friday. We got special giveaways just for Discord subs. Uh, things like exclusive 
uh, PAX Prime, uh, PAX uh, Intel giveaways. We were also going to have exclusive um, giveaways from another number of shoots. Um, and then there's also you know, like special guests that'll show up on the AMAs and stuff like that. So if you haven't become a Discord sub, great value there uh, and some really, really awesome content coming your way uh, if you want to hang out on Discord, including uh, special access to gaming with myself and Alex for the Intel, Intel uh, show and some other stuff too. So uh, definitely worth a sub there. Uh, and then also, if you want to get extra entries for winning that PC, it's a 4070 PC. Uh, you can go check out the giveaway build uh, over on YouTube. Uh, you can also do things like uh, subscribe at Tier 1 that gets you three entries. Subscribe at Tier 2 gets you five entries. And then subscribe at Tier 3 gets you ten entries. And then every extra sub, every gifted sub, also gets you additional entries as well. And then over at kick.com, uh, if we get to 300 sub, we're at 68 right now. Uh, by the end of the month, we'll give away a 3060 with a 5600X, and then that will start to jump as well. So you should head over to Kick, give it a follow, probably drop a sub. That's also the, like your best chance of just winning some awesome stuff. And then lastly, AMD uh, Advantage System, the Audi AMD Advantage System is up for grabs. This is the last week to get in on the, that giveaway as well, guys. So lots of giveaways going on. And then, uh, and then we still have a build left, this uh, amazing build for like way below cost back here. And we have two more that are going to be up uh, in the next week. So lots of giveaways, lots of great deals uh, going on right now. So, so if you want to get a free entry, just use your Amazon Prime sub, just like Stoner for Yen did. If you do your Prime sub, then you get a free entry towards that PC giveaway. So, and that would include an extra entry as well. I do not know, Mark, if they did, if they fixed that yet or not. Whoop, I don't know what that was. Sorry, guys. I want to top down because he's putting in all the screws. Oh, thanks, Lund. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you for the follow, Develop. So I didn't know that there wasn't, uh, the integration wasn't working or not for there. Okay, so what are we, work this is you getting it set up, huh? Yeah, one of the nice things about this case is the whole bracket comes off. So. so you just pulled the bracket off of the top. What's up, Tuan? How are you, man? Getting it to fall off? Yep. Hey, Austoni, thank you for the sub. Hey, what's up, Wolf Shadow? It's good to see you too. Welcome. We're uh, Kevin's here working on, he, we're doing Kevin's build and he's showing you some different techniques than I normally do. He's our tech director here at uh, the show. Is that the right direction? It is, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, I need to go. Um, see what else is going on there. Yeah, don't forget to give a, a thumbs up, guys. And we're super close on finally unlocking, only six subs away from unlocking that $50 new A gift card. So get lots of good stuff coming up here. He's working on his, just getting his stuff in and set up. Did that just come out? Yeah, these are very short screws. Oh, wow, okay. You need me to hold it up? Oh, you know what I've done? I do this. Here. Are you sure you have that the right direction? Doesn't it go like this? Doesn't it go like that? Yeah. Here, let me try, let me try and put oh. it in. I was wrong. Yeah, that feels way better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just making sure. I had it on upside down. I've been watching Robotech to see the stuff I wish I could get. Oh, that makes sense. Just watch the undervolting overclocking on 30. They're trying to get mine done. Oh, congratulations, Bong. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good job. Like, that was a, I, I really liked doing that video. That was a fun video. Yeah, I thought so, J Darby. Hey, J Darby. Coming in to help K Darby. <laughs> What's funny is I have a cousin who's in Italy, 
J. Oh, really? So I'm pretty sure she doesn't watch this. This screwdriver is, I don't know, it's, it's, it's skill. 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 So it's no wow stick, but it is another option. I like it because I don't have to have it facing any specific direction. Um, sorry. You can see that this whole piece here is forward, backwards. Um, and uh, it allows me to, uh, how tight I hold it will determine uh, how much torque is applied once it, something gets tightened. So if I don't really want something to get uh, over torqued and I just want it to have uh, a nice snug fit, you can see it just pops out of my hand when I'm running it. So um, when you when you have something with a button, then you're you're you have only one way you can hold it, or a couple ways to hold it, and then by holding down, it's either on or off, so you don't really get that torque release like this does. So yeah. it it's just a difference of I like to for things that are have more I want to be tighter, then I can hold it tighter and. Then, things where I just want a nice snug fit, I can let it just release in my hand and, and uh, uh, then I know that I'm not over torquing something. Wait, did Riddick go to bed? Oh, I don't know, I know it gets late for people. We might end up doing like one earlier stream per week. I've been thinking about it, doing one earlier stream to week to just help with East Coast. So two of them will be at normal time and then one will be earlier, just so we can get someone, yeah, so thinking about that. So if you have thoughts, head over to our discord.gg slash Robitech and uh, let, let me know your thoughts on that. I know we have some people who are like, especially uh, I think techs, right? Like BMOC, you guys would definitely have some chime in and just say like, it gets pretty late for you guys. Yep. Kiltman, he has one thing to say. Yep. I mean, it is almost 11.30 here. But you are entertained out of your mind. Yeah. 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 So yeah, I feel like I have a lot of East Coast viewers. I have a lot of West Coast viewers too. So it's just like maybe doing something that starts at like four or three one day. Um, nothing too crazy, but yeah. How's it looking? Okay, that's nice and clean, but I need to. Okay, let's go to side view real quick. Get it ready no, for keep top down. That's fine. Oh, to put it in. Well, so they can see it drop in. I want to see. Put the paste on. Oh yeah, paste time. Okay, paste time, guys. This is the watching a different spread technique. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit on the camera here. So this is a high performance thermal grease that's uses, um, has a higher, it's designed for higher temps. And as such, um, it's thicker and doesn't uh, spread in a, in a very, it's consistent in a directional sense, but not in omnidirectional sense. So, okay, so let's, can you bring it down a little bit so it's more centered here? I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can. Oh, that, yeah, so just a little bit more. There you go. There you go, okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, that's what we can see. That's the most we can do, yeah. guys. Sorry, I'm trying to get used to what the... There you go. Okay. Uh, he's using, cry, are you using Cryonaut Extreme or? It's uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, just standard Cryonaut, There's, and it's not the Extreme. The Extreme is pink. And that stuff is ridiculously difficult to. So you're watching him do his paint, guys.
So by having it spread that way, you can get a nice, good spread, huh? Yeah, so when you go monodirectionally, it just it does spread a lot easier. Um, but it is, it is inherently a thicker paste. Right. So I actually probably need a little bit more because I'm getting, I'm scraping off some. But how does it taste? It tastes like gelatin and melons. Yeah, KVN, the one thing about the dot method is that usually, unless you put enough, it doesn't cover the entire IHS. The other thing too is like, depending on the cooler you do, the spread method does a really good job of making sure that you can take off your cooler and make sure that you're getting proper coverage of your IHS. Something you don't get from the dot method. He's just getting it spread. Cooler Master is my favorite flavor of thermal paste. Tastes like grapefruit. Yeah, so like again, just trying to keep you guys educated, have you see it a little bit different. It takes a little while longer to spread it. Actually, I'm having just problems with the spatula. Do you wanna get a different one? I'm gonna get mine. Okay, I'm gonna clean that one off then. He doesn't like my spatula. Said my spatula sucks. I yeah, we use Noctua. I use Noctua NH1. The minty goodness. Thanks, Phil and X. I appreciate it. I was getting I was getting a little worried about my the quality of my spatula. It's like winter green. Is yours a different oh yours is like a different color? It's just more flexible. Oh, it's, okay. That's really the main difference. And I actually didn't put enough on in the first place. Okay. This stuff goes on a little bit thicker. And again, our temps, we've tested our temps and all that sort of stuff. Like we do a lot of this, a lot when we test our different AIOs and stuff. So this, this, the thermal paste he's using when we do our AIO testing, this is the thermal paste we use. Yeah, so. Yeah, develop, we're doing dual stream. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, like his, like he, it's, it's, it's fun to do, to know different people and to like get to know them because like you get to learn, I think you're only going to learn by watching other people, right? So yeah, Ma Max Bunny, this is very, this is very, very, uh, this is very, very important stuff. You got to paint, paint a happy little tree and all that sort of stuff. You're fine. Whatever you need. Still in the still in the frame. Hey, Austoni, taking us in there, getting five, taking us to forty nine. Just wants to tease us with that last one. Almost got the fifty dollar new gift card going on there. Oh yeah, you can see that's a nice, almost like a nice even, huh? And then do you just like clean it afterwards? <laughs> Thank you for that, man. Appreciate it. Who's going to get us our 50th sub? Now he just cleans off the contact plate. It's just taking his time. Thanks, Austoni. I appreciate it. I hear you, Wolf Shadow. Thank you, Stoner. And there it is. Covered. Looking good. Oh, yeah, it does go a little bit thicker, huh? Yeah. 
I mean, you can see it's like it's that or it's not there. Yeah, yeah exactly. And then it gets, um, it displaces some. Um, yeah, of course, when you push pressure. Once I put the, the pressure, pressure on. Yeah, yeah, so. for sure. Okay. Oh, I need to clean this. Okay. You want the, the small ones? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me find my, oh, there it is. Zooming out, he's cleaning off the thermal paste off of the Fantex, which they actually have their own brand of thermal paste too. There we go, just, just cleaning that off. Watch you watch children put, oh, nice, Jason. NV7 is a fun build. It's just, there's a lot, a lot of hiding in that case. A lot of, there's a lot of attention to detail as you build it. And sometimes that can be a little frustrating because it's it's very, it's it's almost over-engineered to some degree. Pop this back in here. There you go. Okay. okay, side view. Here we go, guys. Time to get the AIO in. go. We're getting really close. Now there's just some light cable management because once this is done, guys, you just got cable management and then GPU and PSU. And the PSU is actually really easy because you don't have that many cables to plug into it. AIAIO. Mm -hmm. Five cables. Probably want to do top down. Yeah, switch to top down. Going to top down now. There we go. B mock, are you learning anything new watching this or no? Uh, yeah, I was interested in the behind the motherboard cable routing. I'm gonna have to try some of that next time I do one. What about you, uh, Kilt Man? You don't, you don't have a you don't have a build coming up, but now are you feeling more prepared watching Kevin? Actually, I am. Um, it's kind of. It, it's always good to get a different perspective on how to uh, do certain things. Yeah, Autos. Uh, so it's saying uh, Austoni's like, hey, my least favorite thing is gifted subs, and that's always one of the things. Oh, guys, we hit 51. Okay, we're on our way to the next tier. Oops, that is wow. That is really white. Not ready for that. Okay. Next tier is happening. So ending this go on our way to a hundred dollar new gift card now. There we go. Starting that next tier. Uh, Stony free bin. What is it about this? I like doing it. This is how we typically do it. So. That's good, Igor. I don't like having the MOBO and the AIO connected. It, I find it too cumbersome, but I, I love that people do something different, right? Like I always like to see new methods and I do know people who like to do it that way too. What's up, sub Harami Day? What's your question? It's all good. No, it's fine. Right pointy in there. Yeah. 
yeah, whatever your question is, we'll see if we can get an answer to it. If you don't have an answer, head over to discord.gg slash Robitech. Oh, Raxus, this thing, it takes a beating. That's why it's $750. They're like big cases. Yeah, tiny hands, that's true. Tiny hands in my computer case. Yeah, he, Kevin has bigger hands for sure. No, it's not a fan. Uh, he's talking about the light. I don't know. There's an easy. There is no real answer to that question, Logan, because the the stuff that's usually fast money is either illegal or somebody else's has it. You know what I mean? Yeah, light hit the fan and the brain did not brain. I like that. There you go. How's it going? Last one. Yeah, it's just... Small, yeah, big hands, huh? Yes, that is, uh, that's total, well... Ooh, B450, B450 and a 5800X, that should be fine, right? Uh, I, you know, that's actually a BMOC question. BMOC thoughts? That should be yeah. okay. I mean, yeah, it's fine. You're just getting the PCI uh, 3.0, which is, I mean. For that card, you're not oh. having a problem. Correct, yeah. Uh. Uh, I have a 48, 90 gigs of RAM, an i9-9900K, 90 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so you, you get, I think one thing that I have learned about some people is that sometimes they'll put a bunch of hardware in and then it's software issues that are actually slowing it down. I usually recommend if you've recently just put a hodgepodge of hardware together, or you've been upgrading, actually wiping your system and resetting will actually do some stuff like that. Uh, the other thing too is it could be drive, like your hard drive. So if you're using a super, a slower uh, drive, that can also cause issues as well. It's sticking. So. Reason I really like this case. Oh, just be able to get to it, yeah. Hey, I was in the way. Yeah. All good. Uh, that's because Dorian, I am small. He is six foot. Five, six foot six, right? No, I'm six, around six three. Six three, and I'm only five nine, so yeah. Not and NVMe that... hard drive's fine. Go ahead, what were you gonna say, B-Mark? Well, that one with the 9900K, if, if you're playing at uh, 1440p, then it shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be much of an issue, but if you're playing at 1080p, then yeah, you might see a little bit of struggle with that. Because of the CPU, yeah, a yeah. Bit older. That's a good. That's I mean, a good point. All the CPU, though. I mean, 9900K is still basically a 10700K, uh, for all intents and purposes. But it's funny enough. You you bumping up to a tent to 1440p, you actually see improvements in performance because you're relying more on the GPU at that point in time. It's just pulling this cables out. PSU is the power supply, Logan. So we're gonna pull in cables through the back. Yeah, just this one. Cause... You would need it. Well, maybe you uh, you'd have to see what your monitor is capable of. But if it's not capable of fourteen of fourteen forty p, then yes, you would need to change monitors. A lot of people don't forget how important at ten eighty p how much more important the CPU is. In some cases, than even the GPU. How's it looking? Uh, somebody that messes with the GeForce a lot would have to correct me on this, but I know Radeon does have super sampling. I'm pretty sure NVIDIA has the same tech, so he could do the super sampling, I believe, in the GeForce um, driver suite and still have everything run at 1440p on his uh, 1080p monitor. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
Uh, thanks, Dor Dorian. That's nice. Yeah, do yeah. It's not, we don't like yeah. There's no such to ask questions like this. I don't think there's a that's a there's a bad question. I think you don't yeah. You should not feel dumb. Those are great questions. See you later, Logan. Okay, now he is working on cable management. Is this how you would normally cable manage, or are you trying for time now, or no? Well, I mean, everything's bundled, so it's easy to unplug everything in this case. So would you do additional cable management after this show, or no? no. Okay, this is, so he is doing it. I mean, part, I wanted... part of the reason that I chose the parts and have done how I, I've done is to ensure that if I need to get at the fans, I can just unplug and go. If I need to get at the AI, I can just unplug and go. Um, so it, it makes it a lot more um, serviceable. Uh, serviceable is the word. Okay, beyond, there is no such thing as SLI in 40 series. Uh, Shady J 100. Actually, I'm gonna let Bmock talk a little bit about this. Bmock, thoughts on static electricity, my man? I'm trying to get you guys a little bit more engaged. Static, is that a thing anymore? Uh, I mean, it's it's not really something a normal person should worry about. I mean, unless you're building uh, on the carpet and running around with your shoes, um, trying to build up static electricity, uh, building on a normal table. Um, especially if you got a build mat, but I mean, just a uh, wooden or normal, you know, table that you would have would, is fine. Yeah, that's the deal. Is like, yeah. So I think that was exactly the answer I expected. This is why I love our techs because they, I mean, they know a lot of stuff. But that's exactly the right, an, you know, the same answer that I would give. Is it's just, frankly, unless you're doing something really dumb and trying to generate a bunch of tech, static electricity, like super fuzzy socks, you're on a carpet. You're being chased by a cat uh, who's also like in a static discharge and potentially working with the flash. You know, you're, you're probably not gonna end up having an issue and so you don't need to wear the Livestrong bracelet. Yeah, so yeah. Hopefully that answers your question and I don't think that's a dumb question at all. I th we get that question actually quite a bit. Guys, 228 to 250, we almost are at that. Uh, we're almost at that, uh, we're almost at that uh, 250 likes mark. And that makes Kevin feel good because he's, that means you like him. You really, really like him. Does Crossfire really live on? Can you still Crossfire? I don't even know. I thought that was a motherboard thing. And I don't think they're making any motherboard Crossfire. Like there's no recent Crossfire motherboards. Because you have to support Crossfire at the motherboard layer. Yeah, I, I think, I don't think, you, I don't think there are any of those anymore. <laughs> Raxus, you like that? So, Kavion, it's because some people, there's still things that you can use two, two GPUs for, um, like rendering, etc. So, just because, and there are software that does use two GPUs, but you can't, there's no gaming benefit to having two 4090s. There is a flex benefit, you know what I mean? Because I actually installed two. 3090s in a system once, but there is no, there is no, uh, there is no gaming benefit to it. Yeah. They'll use it for physics, rendering, all sorts. There's a bunch of things you can use it for, yeah. Yeah, deep learning. There's a bunch of stuff like that that you could actually use it for. For sure. But no, I think that's a great question. So is it true? Does anybody know for did? Because I thought I heard that Crossfire was dead. Somebody's saying that it's still there. But I, again, I've never seen Crossfire supported on a X670 or X570 board. So as far as I know, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's it's you have to have the motherboard as well as support for the GPU. Okay, it is. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Turdog. Okay, I was right.
Yeah, you're gonna, you're obviously gonna have a very powerful GPU, PSU if you're gonna be doing that, if you're gonna be doing that. Oops, I got it. I saved you. Just remember this, Kevin. You guys enjoying watching Kevin build? He's, he's doing his cable management, but he does it behind. They do have that. Yeah, they do have some ca some crazy GPUs. I think who Corsair does too. So he's just working on cable management right now. So that's what that's what Kevin's working on right now. And his his is like bundling for functionality. Uh, yeah, it's funny, Org, you've done a lot of looking at different, um, you've done a lot of looking at different PSUs. Where are your thoughts on Thermaltake versus EVGA? And what's a good resource for people to go see, like how those, how those actually rate? Well, Thermaltake have rated pretty well overall. EVGA has been all over the board on their actual quality. So the Cultus PSU tier list is a good place to go and look at tier A and tier B. You'll find a bunch of tier C in like OEM systems, etc. Tier D is to be avoided and it gets worse. Okay. So yeah, the one that Kevin's using in the build today, that's a perfectly fine PSU. I don't know if I was a question org, sorry. I don't know if I I, I don't know if that was clear. Yeah, then we'll take up and find the JF3 is their new PCIe 5 model. So I can use it without issues so far. Okay, thank you. I just like that. Again, these are things that I'm just trying to give you guys ideas of like when techs and all those people, these are the resources they use as new technology and all that stuff come out there. There it is. Hey, Tom, coming in clutch. Coming in clutch with the PSU tier list right there. So again, these are all things that you can use at and look at as resources um, when you are doing these, you know, these kind of things. Yeah. So if you're like looking for a beer, a, a build, tier A and, you know, in some regards, do you ever buy tier B? Uh, PSU's uh, org? Tier B can be fine. Just check the secondary notes because if you see things noted like transient spike issues, you might consider avoiding that model uh, with high-end hardware. There you go. So yeah, there you go. We're just trying to give you guys good insight and like Honestly, there's a lot of things that I've even learned from my techs as I've gotten into this. Because remember, my first PC build, believe it or not, guys, was like, it was Crackdown 3. Crackdown was the title that I was working on, one, Crackdown 1. No, but I did, cra my first ever PC build, like my own PC build was Crackdown 3. And we were in development for that one. And that was well before, that. then I moved from that to something else. Uh, I went to, I went to Nagano, and then I went to, um, Re Recore, so I went. I went to Recore uh, instead off of that. So whenever around that time, so it was a while ago. Guys, two thirty-two at two fifty. We're getting there. So yeah, that was my first PC build. It was not. It was not that long ago. So there's still a lot I'm even learning from my techs, uh, as they've been teaching me more and more and more. So which has actually been pretty cool. Maybe we should switch you, sit you on that side. So that way they could see you do your cable management that way. Do you think that'd be, does that make sense? So you can still sit, but then you're just there over your shoulder. I can switch to down. I just, I needed to have it standing up while I did this one. Okay, so he's gonna go to down guys so you guys can see his cable management this far. And he'll talk you guys through what he did. Also, Kevin is not used to standing as long as I do for an entire stream, so he's also being cognizant of that. Okay, here we go. So we'll go to top down now so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so... Um, or, 
Okay, so the cables are, I'm still getting them cleaned up, but the fan come across from here, the front fans come across. All of the uh, uh, AIO stuff, um, all the fans, they're basically bundled behind this plate and then they're covering where they're going in behind the motherboard. Um, and then there's just excess cables for the, the fan power and RGB. Um, now the thing is, is like, if you pop these two cables here, these two zip ties, you can essentially just unplug um, RGB and fans so that you can get at the bottom fans and the AIO, um, which can also be unplugged right here. Um, a lot of my cabling is, puts a lot of focus on serviceability. Because uh, if, if I have to go in and take out a bunch of uh, zip ties, then it's a whole lot of work to put it back together. Um, so uh, I'm looking at how easy can I get this, get the AI disconnected, get the bottom fans disconnected, or remove the motherboard or whatever. That, those are the things that I'm looking at. Um, so I'm, I'm hiding, I basically just let the cables loop in behind this plate um, without zip ties and then put the plate on. Um, and now I'm just going through and uh, cleaning up um, on the uh, cable management for the flow uh, before I put in the really big cables, which will be the PSU cables. And you can see this is the ribbon cable that we put in for the this connector. Just getting more water, guys. I'll be right there. How's this cable management looking, guys? Getting all of his clumps up? So you walk them through your thinking? Try to. Try to? What do you guys think? BMOC, is that, is that how you do your cable management? Giving some, some other in, insight into cable management? Do you do it more like Kevin, or are you like me, just trying to hide every cable? Definitely depends on the build, but... Um... I just kind of let it flow. It just, just kind of depends on how I have to manage it. But I have—I don't really. 
I don't really um, run my cables behind the little SSD deals like that, so uh, it's definitely a different thing to look at. You guys have seen me do that, though. Not, like, I don't hide mine, but I don't run mine behind the motherboard, which I do like that idea, but you have seen me run cables behind the SSDs before. I'll hide, I'll hide stuff like, especially in Corsair 5000 Ds, because there's a lot of little places to hide stuff like that. Uh, Org, what about you? Are you like, where are you at on cable management? I have an open wire con uh, culture, so let them manage themselves. I like that. I'm ready for Bluetooth wiring. That'd be nice. I do actually have, I had an electrician come and hide the wires for my, for my televisions. Yes, mine are actually hidden behind the wall. So I like cable management. Even my office and stuff is cable managed too. Bluetooth wiring would be interesting. Kill man, what about you? Where are you at on cable management? How do you do it? Are you like a hide it all, or are you a, uh, or just hides? Or are you like, like Kevin, like more of a practical approach to cable management? More of a practical approach, um, but a little bit of both. Uh, mostly with my case, you can't really see too much, so practical is the way I go. Okay, AIO is pretty much done, huh? Your cable management looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Cable management, one to 10. Let's rate it, guys. Give Kevin some feedback. Negative three. Negative three. So, Raxus, you're like me. You're more like trying to hide as much of it as you can, huh? Okay, those are some good, those are some good scores. Okay, PSU time. I'm not even gonna lie, my current build, um, I didn't even cable manage, I just uh, shoved that thing closed over there. <laughs> but uh, I'm in the process of get, getting a new case here this week, so I'm gonna swap everything out and uh, I'm gonna get it cable managed. So what case are you going to, BMOC? So um, I decided to ditch the uh, the water cooling, and I'm actually gonna um, go all air cooling. Oh, um, really? So you're gonna dump? You're, you're, you when you say dump the water, does that include AIO? Is that what you mean? No, I've got a I've got a custom loop block oh. um, on my CPU right now. But the case is really big. I got a uh, Intu Intu Pro Two. Um, okay. Really yep. big case. So I'm I'm dropping down to the Lian Lee Two Sixteen. Okay. And then I'm going to go with the uh, Thermal Right uh, Peerless Assassin uh, for my CPU block because I already got one uh, here on hand. So I'm going to swap out to that and go a little smaller. So you're actually, you're, so you, uh, what, when did you do your, your custom loop? Uh, I've been using it for a while. I originally used this um, loop setup with my 5800X that I bought um, a couple years ago. And then I had in, uh, Intel for a little while. Um, and then when I swapped back over to uh, this AM5 build, I uh, decided that I'd break stuff back out since the block was still compatible. But um, this AM4 block doesn't quite go down, even with the little um, EK adapters that they, they provide. It doesn't really go down far enough. Um, my temps are still great. Um, but it, it's not as good as you could get if I bought an eight AM5 water block, but I don't want to spend an extra 200 something dollars on it. And, right. Um, and I just want to kind of downsize it a little bit anyway. Um, and I just did it because I had the stuff here, but, uh, the, the fans ramp up a lot too with the, the way that you got the rad and everything. So to keep it like the same sense I would get with the air cooling setup, I can get better acoustics too just going over to uh, the route i'm going now i had to kind of rearrange and now my setup's in the living room 
So I want to kind of get it a little bit more uh, uh, acoustic. Uh, I guess uh, audible wise for, for people around the, the living room. Got it. You, you, uh, MacMog asks, can I hook up my computer to you? My house's heat pump. There are people who've done things like hooking them up to, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have to do it on your here. Let me see your, let me see your, your mic. Here you go. You just do that. Oops. That. There you go. Muted. Okay, cool. Oh, no, no, you're not. No, you're muted. Okay, cool. Okay, he's muting real quick. Okay, so let's just go through here and just tell you guys just a little, real quick. Guys, welcome to Robitech. I mean, there's still quite a few of you. We're very close to unlocking the 250 likes over on YouTube right now. So you can head over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. We have Kevin, who's our tech director. He's spending some time. This is his personal rig he's putting together and just showing you guys some different techniques. Because, I mean, you guys watch me do literally thousands of builds. And sometimes it's just nice to have somebody else come in, sit down, show you guys a different build, and then talk you through his different methodologies. Now, this is a build he's completely chosen all the parts independently. He walked through all that earlier. So that is, uh, that's that's what we're doing here. Now, a uh, couple things. We do have some giveaways and stuff that are still up for grabs. Uh, so we're gonna be giving away at least a $50 new egg gift card. If we get to 250 likes, we'll give away a uh, we'll give away another $25 new egg gift card. Uh, we also have a uh, PC that's up for grabs. It's an RTX 4070 uh, system. It's usually sitting back here. It's in a Corsair for, uh, course it with a 5800x 3d 4070 uh it's in a course uh sorry a cooler master td 500 beautiful build uh that is going to be the giveaway build uh for discord subs and for twitch subs and all you got to do to be entered in that is head over to twitch.tv slash robitech drop your free amazon prime subscription and then you're basically entered to win and then discord if you jump over discord.gg slash robitech a Lots of benefits there, AMAs, uh, exclusive giveaways, all that sort of stuff, plus your access to your own channel and hanging out with me directly and behind the scenes for like secret Intel events, secret AMD events, all that sort of stuff. So you guys get a lot more. They're like my, in. they're called the sub club. They're like the inside community side. Uh, if you wanna check that out, super inexpensive, 599 uh, and uh, a, a really good deal there. Uh, lastly, if you want to get extra entries, you can subscribe it to your one that gets you three entries, subscribe it to your two, get you five entries, and subscribe it to your three on Twitch, get you 10 entries. And then if you want to get extra entries, you can just gift subs like so many other people have done. Also over at kick.com slash Robitech, we're giving away a RTX 3060 and a 5600X as soon as we get to the sub goal. We'll try and come up with something. We might just give away a 5600X anyway. All you gotta do is head over to kick.com slash Robitech, drop a sub, and you're entered to win over there as well. So regardless, we'll give away something to the people who try to do the subscribe. Just have to see how high we get in terms of overall uh, growth over on kick. So lots of stuff. I do have a TikTok channel. That's uh, tiktok.com slash Robitech. I'm Robitech absolutely everywhere, and we have channels everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's all the stuff that's happening. Go ahead over to youtube.com slash Robitech Live. Hit that thumbs up button, guys, uh, and then all that sort of stuff. And I hope you guys are enjoying this content and just getting you guys squared away so you guys can uh, you guys can uh, see. We're almost done with the build. We're coming up on it, right? I think we just all we got is PSU and GPU. Yeah. And then we'll throw some benches in it. We'll throw a couple benches at it. We're gonna put some bench marks on it by hitting it with a bench. Have you seen the framework laptop? I have not, Kevin. Kev Kevian. I'd have to see that. What is the framework laptop? Hey, Wahoo, just followed you. Hey, thanks, that's awesome. Yeah, Oregon, yeah, there's a lot of study. If you guys, and the only two is you can always head over to uh, YouTube.com, uh, sorry, uh, discord.gg slash Robitech. If you guys have questions about parts or anything like that, great resource to talk to some of our, our, our amazing techs about any of those questions. So yeah. Yeah, exactly, Max Bunny, I like that joke. Oh, really? Oh, versus like using ODM ones. Guys, we'll have to show you the uh, Falcon Northwest laptop here at the end of the show as well. What's all that? That's a lot of screws. I'm trying to find the power supply screws. They're not in there. They're usually in the bag, in that black bag, not. There weren't any in there that I saw. Or if I looked in the right place. 
In which case, I just see them. <coughs> yeah, that's going, true. Hey, 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 look at me. Yeah, look at me. They are in there because I just did a build with it. Let me look. I'll look in here. No, it's. Not it was in, in the power supply. Or the power cable. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Okay. There you go. He found him. He found him. Everybody stop panicking. I'll have to take a look at those, Kenneth. Yeah. I'll bring it. I'll, I'll, here, let me, let me look up framework laptop. I wonder how loud they are, though. Oh, there it is. Framework laptop. Okay. So this will do 13th gen core. And then new modules. You can do a display kit mat. You go to like here and it's like pre-order new main boards. So you can do a 13th gen i5 1340, i7, i5, but you can't do an i9, huh? And you can do 12th gen and the 12th gen was i7. So there's none of the i9s, huh? And they have little expansion cards. Interesting. Memory and storage is pretty straightforward because you can do whatever you want in that. And they have a bunch of different keyboard types, huh? And you can like DIY the whole thing, huh? So Castle Castleus has a framework if you want to ask him. I, I should reach out to him. It's pretty crazy. And you can pre-order up to it. You can start at like 1049. And you can do all the way down to 11th gen. And then AMD, it looks like you can do 7040 series. And you just basically build it yourself. What's the, so is it like, does it have a graphics card? You just can pop in and upgrade to whatever. Interesting. Yeah. I just gotta watch the video is what somebody's saying. That's interesting. I wonder what the limitations are of having something like that. Let me go to top down so you guys can see this a little bit better, sorry. There we go. Guys, seven likes away from unlocking all the giveaway, all, all the all the two fifty. So now he's just getting through his, just basically getting the last of his cables hidden. Well, it's funny because a lot of companies, like you talk about them, like many of them, they can't afford to make their own laptops unless they're like. Alienware or Dell or something like that, right? So like a lot of them buy them from, like basically buy them from other companies. Um, so, you know, it'd be cool if there's something like that. And I know, uh, I know that companies like Corsair, whatever it was, if they could come up with a core, uh, like a framework where they could have things, that would actually be pretty neat. Uh, Figment, yes. Uh, the D&D &D movie was amazing. Like amazing. Loved it. I should definitely see about, I should definitely see what I can fit, like if we can get a hold of one. It'll be cool to check one and build one. It doesn't, I mean like, outs, like the thing is, is that I don't, I don't know if I'd ever use it because the laptops that I use obviously need, uh, AU no. 
Uh, I don't know if I'd ever need something like that, um, but uh, like I'd, I'd, it'd be useful for me. But uh, you know, the idea of building a laptop and getting to do all that would be a lot of fun and showing that stuff up. Figment, it was so good. It was so good. All right, wait, did I, well, I meant like, wait, did I say future-proofing? I don't know if I said future, did I, I didn't say future-proofing, did I? If I did, I didn't mean to. Yeah, it's a, that, like that movie, if you haven't seen it, like it was so good, wasn't it, Kevin? That movie was so good. Yeah, yeah, that, that was so good. There's a YouTube goal. The other thing too is like, we just don't understand how big the leaps are too. Oh, my son wants to watch that movie, Cocaine Bear. <laughs> that, the idea and premise behind that movie, the fact that it's actually based on a semi-true story is pretty funny. Well, Sovereign, it's, it's a good time to jump in. It's only been getting better. I don't know if I'm going to get to let my son watch Cocaine Bear, but it, it looks pretty funny. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you for hitting 250 for me. Uh, the movie we were talking about was the Dungeons & Dragons movie, which was fantastic. I'm, I'm excited to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that's the next one I want to see for sure. Um, and I, I haven't watched John Wick. Oh, thanks, Jude. I appreciate that. What's up, Logic? I hope so, too. Honestly, it was the most Chris Pine movie ever. It's like, what did you say, Kevin? It's like you were watching them role play. It was, it was Chris Pine and Michelle Rodriguez and the rest of the cast basically role playing their role. And that's what made it so good. And that's what made it good. So. <coughs> it was such a good movie. Uh, Logic Snow, uh, we have Kevin, who's our tech director, uh, uh, Roby Tech. He's the one who does all of our benchmarking and stuff like that. He is building the PC today, and this is actually his personal rig. Yeah. Uh, KVN, you do not need to play Dungeons & Dragons to enjoy the D&D movie. I think there's extra stuff in that movie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good movie for uh, anybody who's not familiar with D&D. It is... <laughs> Anybody who's who's played D&D uh, &D going as far back as the late 70s from the original version, it's there's just a lot of uh, tribute and love paid to those D&D uh, fans. Um, but you don't need to know what those uh, what those elements are to enjoy that movie. Yeah, there's just there's like Easter eggs if you are a Dungeons and Dragons fan. Like for instance, the fact that the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon characters. We're in there at some point yeah. in time. Yeah, they made an appearance in some way. Uh, Sami said, uh, I don't think Chris Pine was in Battleship. No, it was like no, Liam no. Neeson and uh, uh, the guy who was Taylor in- Taylor Cage. Yeah, and who was in, um, not John, who was in, uh, what, the Red Planet movie. What was that called? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know which one. I can't remember. I Edgar love that Rice, movie. The Edgar Rice Burroughs. Yeah, yeah. Sci-fi thing. John Carter, yeah. Yeah, John Carter. I love that movie. Yeah, Rihanna was in Battleship 2. Not Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, John Carter. Oh, Star Trek. Star Trek was, yes, that was very Chris Pratt. That's funny. I just watched that movie the other day, too. I got on a kind of a, a new Star Trek kick and went and, watched, uh, went, went and watched that movie not that long ago as well. I loved, I liked the first one. Um, the relationship between Spock and him was hilarious. Night Agent was, Night Agent was phenomenal. That, if you haven't seen that, especially if you are a fan of like those kind of movies, like uh, if you're a fan of like things like Tom Clancy, uh, any of like the Agent movies, Night Agent was massively good. 
I like, I couldn't put it down. Like, it's funny, I couldn't put it down. I couldn't stop watching it. I enjoyed that so much. The Bodyguard was also good. The Bodyguard got dark. Um, but I actually finished that one too. That night agent said that I should watch that. And then I kind of had a little bit of a rough time because I didn't know if she was bad. And I'm not going to spoil it, but uh, honestly, that, that was actually, I really enjoyed that show too. Uh, we have a 7,000D system sitting right back here. That's, uh, that's my version of what Kevin's got right here. I, even though it's not fair because all of mine all have 4090s. <laughs> It's funny because the um, the actual uh, the uh, Corsair, sorry, the Asus ROG, um, the he not the Helios, the gosh darn it, their new one. I just we just got finished doing it. Uh, what is the big Corsair case that we just reviewed? Seven thousand X. No, no, the the sorry Asus, sorry the we, Asus the Hyperion. Yeah, the Hyperion. The Hyperion does come with uh, the Hyperion does come with. Um, uh, a, a extensions for the EPS. See how, look at how, look, this is one of the things he does really well, is look at how good the, the PSU cables look, guy. It's a, it's a, it's a fun case. We have a Hyperion build that's just kind of sitting downstairs right now. It, we, we did a funny TikTok that ended up getting Really, really good uh, thing because it weighs the, the build weighs like 65 pounds. <laughs> it's you know it's funny. I we're gonna be doing the review on it here pretty soon, but I don't. It's I like I I wasn't my favorite build experience. Like I like more in the land cool and stuff like that. There's just a lot of plastic in like the Hyperion and stuff like that, which makes it a little bit interesting. Are they magnetic? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's hitting something, right? Oh, uh, it's just that one. Need to flatten that one out. You want me to get you a hammer? I'm good. <laughs> uh, it is better to build in than the Helios. The Helios is like my least favorite case to build in at all. The Hyperion I, has its annoyances, but it's actually very straightforward to build in. Yeah. The, the, the Helios is just... The Helios is annoying and kind of a pain in the butt to build in. Yeah, we built in that case and we built with the... And I did the Evangelion the, and a multiple Helios builds and the Hyperion is way more fun to build in than the Helios. They just, they fixed some stuff, which was nice. I think some of the stuff is a little, a little cliche, like the, like the screwdriver holder and stuff like that, but... Um, actually, I love the LED wall. The LED panel is the cool. The LED panel is really cool. Dude, that MSI 700R, I need to have them reach out and send us one of those. So I built in that on Mod Workshop with, um, with um, oh my gosh, I just forgot her name, sorry. My bad. Mine just went blank. But that case was actually really cool. Lua, with Lua. Yeah, sorry, with Lua. My bad. I knew it was going to remember. Sorry, brain fart. But that, and that was a fun build, but that, I, and a fun just stream. Luality. Um, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be honest, man, she was, uh, oh, you got to pull them down. Uh, that was just a fun stream, but that, that case, I was actually really impressed. I want to see how all of the L LCD stuff works. You want me to get the Dremel? There we go, guys. Now you just have the PSU, right? The GPU. Here it is how it looks so far, guys. Is that the wrong one? Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, he takes a lot of, and then even down below, right? Like, I know it's hard to see, but even down below, there's just not a lot of cables even down here. OK. 
Okay, last one, guys. Last bit, GPU time. And this is your first, your first personal 4090 build. Correct. So you're, uh, the what in your system, in your room that you have- My office has the 3080. 3080, yeah, that's right, yeah. We are counting zip ties. Yep, we have them in a bin. We're gonna be doing that, don't worry, it's there. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Tom had to laugh at that. Hey, Cosmic Kitten, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Um, honestly, he does 4K. For, he is 4K gaming, and so 4K, and he wants to do 120 hertz, it's like there is no, you do need a 4090. So that's what he's doing. I promise I won't, okay? Hey, Jovian TV, thank you for the resub. 32 months. That's crazy. It's at the very end, guys, and then we'll run a couple benches. Oops. Our $700 light. Go top down. for this part now. Are you gonna do the extension, you think? Or the cable, the... Are you gonna do the sag bracket or... Yeah, it yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll fit, yeah. That's definitely something different than I do. Uh, there's just not a lot of space between the fans. So you can see there's only a couple of inches. Yeah, yeah. So well, I like it because because I just did this with what's her names with um, with uh, Lualities is it goes straight down and it hides behind the it hides behind the sag bracket. But it's your build. I mean, if you want to make a bad decision, that's fine. Hub says the anti sag bracket on this on the 4090 does work. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know if the I don't know if the the I will say the GPU clicks are always around the same volume. I don't know if there's enough variety to kind of do something like that. Maybe we can measure it next time. We'll try. See if there's louder ones and see if it's worth it. Well, it's tough because that click is the that lock pin. That lock pin doesn't always lock, yeah. Lock. I had a similar, like it was weird because the MS, you're, you're already, so something that's unique about MSI is that the actual, where the slot is, is lower than typical. No, on, that's on the carbon. Oh, it's also on the, the other one that we just did. Um, we did, we just did in Luality, it was also lower there too. For, for the tomahawk, it's in the normal position. Okay. But for the for the carbon, it's one slot lower, so that you wouldn't actually be able to put this bracket in. Uh, do you still think you'll, do you think we'll ever see the new flagship GPUs retail in stores for under a thousand? Uh, maybe you might see that from AMD. Like I think you'll see the 7900 XTX hit sub a thousand for sure. Um, I don't know if you'll see that from. I don't think you'll see that from NVIDIA. I think NVIDIA, you'll always be, I will be surprised if we see him jump below, drop below 1500 anymore. Oh yeah, that's, well, Max Bunny, good point. Uh, Araxness, I'm trying to think if I've ever seen SAG on the FE. I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure, Araxnus. Because the thing is, the tough is the same way, but you have it's it's actually how the back plate is done. Like EVGA fixed it on their 3090 Ti. Um, EVA, EVGA fixed on the 3090 Ti. They made it so it didn't sag. Um, but I don't remember because if the card's hard, you like it, it, depending on the cheapness of the PCI, the metal around the brackets, you might still get sag. Uh, Kavion, no, they're, I mean, the thing is, is they the thing is they're usually super dialed in, so there's not a lot of OC room on the Founders Edition cards, um, but that's kind of about it. Uh, they're not, they don't have, they usually don't, don't have the overclock, but for the most part, they're within two to three percent of any of the other cards. Like, when you're buying, like, a Strix 4090, like, you might be seeing, like, one, two, three percent, right, BMOC? It's never, it's never crazy for what you're paying $500 more for. I don't know if BMOC heard me. Tom's here. Hello. Hey, what's up, buddy? Not much yeah. at all. Hello, Kevin. Hello. That's Tom. Okay, guys, build is done. There we go. Let's go to side camera. Well, actually, we'll go. We'll show it from the front. Okay, now, guys, before we turn it on, we're gonna take it. We're gonna let Kevin sit down for a second and take a drink. We're gonna run our deals and talk about our sponsor, uh, and then after that, we'll get it turned on and we'll run some benchmarks. So, Kevin, you finished a build on the line. That looks like the front. That's the front one. Oh, he's, he's gonna go. He's gonna. He's just putting it all on. There we go. Now everything's not gonna work. So. Oh, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll, that, that'll hold it, though. There we go. Okay, let's face it in. I'll let you sit down for a second, and then we'll run our, our stuff, unless you want to... Yeah, there you go. There you go, sir. There is the build, guys. You can't see it, so I'm going to take the front glass off so they can see it, and then we'll, uh, we'll put it on. We'll put it on at the... Oh, it's just like this. Right? So there we go. So there is the build. Wow, that actually fills up, man, that case, that GPU fills up that case well, actually. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All that sort of stuff, but there is the final build, so you guys can actually see it in there. I'll put a little bit of light in there. So you can see it a little bit while we're finishing the finishing the special stuff. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay, first thing we're going to do, let's count our zip ties, and then we'll do the does it post. Not as many, nowhere near as many as I have. So we'll go to top down view real quick. Total zip ties: one, two, three, four, five. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five. There's fifteen. It is sixteen. We are even today, guys. Sixteen. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen is even, guys, for our total things. That's about thirty less than Roby does. <laughs> Okay, so build is done. Let's go ahead and do our, our uh... I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I just gotta grab the, uh, just gotta grab the, uh, HDMI cable. It's not your bed. It's not your phone. It's right here. Ugh. And we'll do our deals and do our giveaways and turn it on and we'll run a couple benches.
Okay, last part of this whole thing. Let's go to static. Less ties to cut when upgrading. That is very true. And that's what he talked about, right? He does a lot of hiding behind hardware spots and stuff like that, so. Oh, you should see that. Wait till you see the Falcon one, guys. The Falcon one I'll show here in a minute. Um, if I if I, I just don't have it, I don't, I'm not signed into everything for the Falcon one to work very well, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll save that for the end here. Okay, so we're gonna bring up, let me get all the stuff. And then we'll get, we'll get through this quickly so you guys can see the rest. Do, do, do. Hey, iTarnish, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. You are awesome. Super appreciate you. Thank you very much for that. Okay, let's check out uh, Ruby uh, Twitter. Just getting everything signed up here. Uh, there we go. Last thing. Okay, so you get finished with an awesome build like this, and you're like, hey, Roby, uh, I want to pick up a copy of Windows. So how much is a copy of Windows? Well, Windows is usually, you know, 100 bucks at Best Buy if you're going to buy Windows Home, and you're looking at 150 160 bucks if you're going to buy Pro. But if you head on over to VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick up a copy of Windows 11 Pro for a little over $31.37. So you just click on this. And then again, that is not the cheapest it is. If you hit buy now and use code RBCK at checkout, uh, just like this, RBCK, and hit apply, what was $31.37 actually comes down to $21.96. So fairly inexpensive if you want to pick up a copy of, Win uh, of Microsoft Windows. Well, what about Office? Well, let's take a look at Office, uh, now just called Microsoft 365. So here's Office 2021. It's usually quite a pricey device. Uh, pri pricey uh, piece of software, uh, $206.44. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick it up for $74.52. But again, same thing, hit buy now, use code RBCK at checkout, and then hit apply. What was $74.52 comes down to a whopping $52.16. So again, if you have questions, if you questions or things, we've literally had tens of thousands of people who've used this site uh, it's OEM key, so they only work with one machine, but a very inexpensive thing. Then you get full control in terms of uh, an authentic version of Windows. If you have any issues with the keys, they're great customer service. And at the same time, you can do things like customization and stuff like that. So uh, VIP slash CDKDeals.com, use code RBCK at checkout for additional savings. Uh, if you are inspired by watching Kevin build and you're like, Roby, I want to get into my own PC building now. You should head over to Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. Uh, obviously, you can see that we have a number of people who follow us, 22,500. So Tom is always looking for deals on PC parts, game uh, games, monitors, televisions, game consoles. So it's a great place to go and bookmark to find deals on this stuff. Obviously, there are affiliate links, so we get a kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything more. So for instance, here he is. He's got this Antec Dark Legion DF600 Flux that's on sale for 89 bucks. Here's a crucial four terabyte uh, NVMe drive for $194.99. So he's always finding really good deals, GPUs, you name it. So if you're looking for it, just a great thing is you're piecing things together to follow there. And then of course, you can always head over to discord.gg slash robitech if you want to have Tom find parts like what you've seen kind of here on the channel and he can make links for you, which means we get affiliate support. And at the same time, you get the deals that you want as well. <clears throat> um, lastly, if you want to check things out, uh, the other place you can always check out is robytech.com. So for instance, if you liked Kevin's build and you want to find a build, that stuff is located here, as well as things like our latest GPU drivers, or if you want to hi uh, hire us to do a commission build, like what you see here. So for instance, you head over to robytech.com slash builds. Here is Kevin's build with all the parts and all the links and all that sort of stuff. So if you wanted to build this exact same system and follow along with his amazing cable management, you could absolutely do so. And here's the Arrows RTX build we just got finished doing just the other day. So all of our parts are basically listed here. So if you find a build you like on Robitech, uh, on the Robitech Live channel, just come on over here and you can find the parts list as well. Uh, as, along with that, we also have some PCs that are up for sale. So here, if you go to robitech.com slash PCs for sale, Oh, there they are. I was like blind. 
uh, we have this beautiful RS Spotlight build, uh, well below uh, uh, retail price, $3,000, fully custom water-cooled sitting here beside us. It's never been used, it just sits on set. Trying to find a good home for it because we have a lot of other builds that are kind of coming in um, and we need to make space here uh, for those builds. We'll have two more that are gonna go up I don't know, he's got to work on them. Uh, so we have two more that are going to go up here in a couple of weeks, uh, probably maybe this week or even early next week um, as well. So, and then last thing, let's talk about deals. So let's see what deals he has found. Okay, so limited time flash sale, $800 on the Evo 17S. Uh, so this is the ready to ship. It's a $22, $2,279. It's literally, I use this laptop when I travel. Uh, it's a uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, a Core i7-12700H, uh, and a 32 gigs of uh, DDR5 at 4800 mega transfer, and a one terabyte MP600 for uh, $2,279. So regularly almost $3,000 for a 3080, um, uh, 30, uh, 12900, 12900 mobile, uh, uh, mobile system. That is a really good price for that, that um, that, sorry, that particular laptop, I'm trying to find the word, that particular laptop, really great price. Uh, and I've used it, this is actually the main one, sorry, this is not the travel one, this is the one I use as my, uh, my daily driver for laptops. Ours FO48U, the OLED, it's like, is oh, it? Yeah. It's like, yeah, so Kevin tested it, you have him sitting right back here, love this monitor. It is fan-freaking-tastic. The other two, I was telling you a little bit about this on Amazon, uh, it's one millisecond gray to gray, uh, DisplayPort 1.4, two HDMI 2.1, USB 3.0. It's got KBM, which means you can use a single keyboard with multiple devices, uh, spatial audio, AMD FreeSync Premium, and it, I think it's G-Sync compatible, maybe not. But the thing that's so crazy about this is it works more like a monitor, um, which means you have a lot of control. The OSD you can control from on your screen, and you can also play this with your Xbox Series X or your PlayStation 5. The screen on this thing is legit, and it's on sale right now, $799.99. Uh, over on Amazon. Uh, the RK Royal Kludge RK61 wired 60% mechanical keyboard, uh, $49.99. This is a great keyboard if you want to get in to custom keyboards. It's actually hot swappable. You can flip out the switches. So if you wanted to try like, you know, Kales, Lynxes, Holy Pandas, uh, what, what are they called? The, the brown cookies or the like the new ones. Like, these are actual switch names. Uh, point being is if you, you can swap those out, you can change out the keycaps. The PCB works with pretty much everything, which is actually really cool. Uh, right now on sale, $49.99, you can get both the black and the white model, and they have browns and reds uh, for the base model. Uh, the Logitech G Cloud handheld, which I've shown a ton. This device I love. Um, it's great for people who are sitting like, so for instance, like, you know, uh, if you have, your wife is using this, your uh, television. Um, we actually have one right here. They're cool, small, portable, uh, very, very neat. I like these a lot. Um, here it is. It's just a great device. This is a cloud streaming device. Uh, it's thin. It, it's just well done. 12 plus hour battery life. Uh, it's really on sale right now, $299.99. Um, and it's like for streaming games, 1080p. Uh, it even looks better in some regards than the, um, than the Steam Deck because you're getting 1080p off of Xbox Game Clouds. You can use Steam Link. You can use a bunch of different software to stream directly to this. And it's just an awesome form factor um, if you're looking for a great portable device. Again, you have to be on Wi-Fi. This isn't a native gaming device, so which is pretty cool. Uh, Acer 7, 27 inch, 170 hertz, IPS 1440p, 0 0.5 millisecond premium. Uh, on sale, $199.99, which is a great price, price for a uh, 1440p, 170 hertz monitor. Uh, the LG A48 Classic C2 series, the OLED, freaking baller, $799.99. So you can either get a 4K OLED if you wanted to from, uh, if you wanted a TV and you were gonna do more TV, then I recommend doing the LG OLED. If you want gaming and PC gaming and console, then the FO48U might be a better option. Uh, and the C2 does come with LG's burn-in protection, which is actually really cool. Anyway, $799 over on Newegg. That's a great price for that um, uh, monitor. Uh, the RC, the 711 Mini, this is their mini power case. Uh, very, very small form factor thing. Uh, it's got tempered glass, USB 3.2 Gen 2. Um, it's $230 off, making it $49.99. $230 off? What the heck? <laughs> What is that? Okay, that just sounds like a clearance sale. Uh, so if you're looking for a clearance, I'm good, Sebastian. If you're looking for a clearance 
case. Jeez, I'm crow. Uh, obviously, it's quite a bit old because it was like CES 2000. Uh, SN850X, fantastic NVMe drive, uh, super good power, great endurance, uh, and a nice price, $146.99 for two terabytes. Um, yeah, which is awesome. And it's a Gen 4, use that promo code. And then the 5000D airflow case uh, with the H150i Elite um, and an RM1000X, that, wow, five, 600 bucks. For a PSU, you get the H150i Elite LCD and the case for five, for 600 bucks. That's a really good deal too. Okay, so what I'd say is the most bonkers is the laptop, the two, the monitor and the television and the uh, this deal right here. Those are crazy. Wow, that's you know what? I bet you Tom actually had a really hard time today. Tom, you must have had a hard time today because those are some awesome, incredible deals. Am I right? Tom, is it not going to unmute? But we'll see where we go from there. Anyway, guys. Yeah, I was on mute. Sorry about that. But that was probably hard to find. You, these are great deals. So usually I only put six on there, but I, I didn't want to chintz out and take some off. So I just put nine on there because they were all pretty good deals. Yeah. So there you go. Really good deals right there. Everybody say thank you, Tom. Everybody say thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Okay, everybody's saying it. I'm saying it for you. Thanks. Appreciate it, everybody. Okay, uh, I, okay, guys, so the next question on the list is, will it post? This is the big one. Will it post? Kevin is, is prepared. We're getting it ready here. So uh, let's get that vote up and see if it will actually post. I'm gonna move this over. So you guys can do the votes, to see what uh, how it kind of comes out. Uh, okay, need this. Uh, must be your. There we go. And boom. You have two minutes, guys. Production is up. Will it post? Is the question. Ugh. Okay, two minutes. Yeah, everything, yes, it will. We got to see it for real. We're going to wait for the, the final parts. You did a good job, dude. Did you already peel the glass and stuff? No. Oh, it looks like there's imprints back here. Because it still has plastic on. Oh, interesting. It does, huh? <clears throat> and this already has an OS and it's ready to go, right? Yeah, so we can do that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Is there any RGB? Yes, there is RGB in this build. The fans, there's fans and some on the MOBO. I mean, sorry, on the GPU, but that's kind so of- the pump and the GPU. Yeah, the pump and the GPU, yeah. So there will be some, yes. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it turned on here in just a minute. We're just waiting for the, uh, the prediction to go run its course. And the RAM, yes, RAM too. So about the same amount of time. Well, we started 30 minutes late. It was the fans. It was the fans. Yeah, the fans took a while. It took a while. But yeah. I still, even though there's more parts to it to get it all connected up, I do, like I said, I like the way they mount because they're not using those uh, screws that go into the plastic and eventually they just do nothing over time. Right. So. Okay, guys. Almost done. Scoot this, just give ourselves some workspace here for the monitor. Okay, vote is done. Okay, Kevin, you can do the honor, sir. It's your build. I, there'd be no way I would take that away from you, <laughs> like turning it on for the first time. There's a light. There it goes. And it is alive, ladies and gentlemen.
We're gonna wait to see if it posts. I'm guessing it'll be fine. And you, you've tested the RAM at, uh, at yeah, it's uh, set up for XMP. How does it look from the front? I like, I, I really do like the Fantex. I really do like the Fantex. Um, let's go to the side here. Still an orange. Still running through all that stuff right now. The light went away. There goes white. I think that, and we've seen a signal. Side camera's not working. Oh, the side camera stopped working again? Oh, stupid camera. Okay, we'll fix that real quick. Silly camera. Silly camera. Tricks are for kids. Windows is booting. And there goes Windows is booting, so we are definitely, we're definitely in. Okay, hold on one sec, guys. We'll go to capture so you can actually see we're into Windows. You wanna get it uh, set up for, okay, go to capture. Oh, you gotta do the peel though. You gotta do the peel on your, oh, and it went all red. Oh, except for that one didn't go red. Uh, hold on one sec. And if you wanna grab the um, display port, It's on the floor there. You can plug it in and mirror it. Okay, let's check the side camera, see if it's working now. Camera's on strike. It's like, nope, I'm done. There we go. There it is all lit up. Are these being controlled by the RGB? Huh? Or did you plug these into the... They're plugged into... I, wonder, I bet you I have to hold this, hold on. Uh, there you go. They're red now. Okay, all red. Just like a, like any good like go, any good AMD build would be. Right, Bmock? Yeah, we're going to we're going to get yeah. Right yeah, we're going to get that stuff done here in just a second. The temp, we're going to do temps. First temp is going to be uh, when we're on Cinebench. So worst case game temp, I I can't even imagine how good it's going to be. I'm gonna peel this inside one. go. It doesn't see the video card. Yeah, I've seen that before and then you have to like refresh or whatever it was. And then go to 1440p. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna have you do your peel anyway, because you gotta do your peel, dude. It's always important. I just need to see if there's any updates for the video card. Nope. Okay, so. You wanna try and reboot it and just see if it shows up? I've seen that happen sometimes. So we're just waiting to see if the GPU shows up and then he'll have all red. It hasn't been quiet. Yeah, it is quiet. <laughs> we're just waiting real quick, guys. It's rebooting, which shouldn't take too long. Feeling the air. It's finally built. This has been like a this has been a process. This has been a process, guys, for him to basically get this built. Oh 
hopefully, let's see what MSI does. Hasn't gone red yet. Hopefully it just finds it and grips it. No, there it goes, it just did all red. It's one of those things that this is where, where like sometimes MSI Center gets whack, wacky with this stuff sometimes. Oh, there it now is. Now we see it. Yeah, yeah, see, just reboot. There it goes. Okay, now we can do his peel, guys. Come do your peel, Kevin. He's gonna come around to the other side. He'll do it from back here. Okay, here we go, guys. Peel time. All red, ready to go. You gotta start up here. It's gotta go across. It's the standard. You gotta, you gotta follow the, you gotta follow the rules. There we go. There it is. The red, do you, you have a name for it yet? You think you will name it? Well, it better be Old Faithful. <laughs> and there it is. Well, it could be Boomer. Boomer? <laughs> I like it. Grace Park, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. There it is, guys. Okay, Kevin, why don't you do the honors, get it set up for some, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look here. So let's see what temps are like under load. We got everything ready to go for it already. I Tarnish, thank you very much for the five more gifted subs. You are amazing. Somebody says, name it Rudy. Okay, here we go. I don't have what MSI Afterburner installed. Oh, you can just use, I just do hardware info monitor just to show. I don't have that installed either. Well, that takes two seconds. You can install it real quick. You have Cinebench on there, though? I can get that installed really quick. Yeah, sorry, hardware info monitor too. This works. So we're gonna put hardware info monitor on it real quick. And then, we'll, so that way we can show temps under load. Name it Throgdor or Burninator. Yeah, the build itself actually came out really clean. It looks really good. And the red, like the red on the front of it, it's just, it's just a nice clean build. It does, it's got a lot of cooling. <laughs> that 4090 is getting a lot of air. It's gonna look good. It's gonna, it looks really good. Looks good. And then we'll get center bench. We'll just see what it is under load. Luckily, all of this stuff is like so fast to install. Okay, and open up hardware info monitor and then we'll see what goes on here. Put that contact frame. There's your package temp. It's currently sitting at 36. That was right where we saw it last time, right? Okay. Let's run, a, let's do the advance, yeah. Here we go, guys. Bad boy hit 350. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's, yeah, but I mean, it's like 350. Nice, yeah, it is. Those temps are really good. What'd we get? 
40,000. 40, we haven't seen that since we haven't seen that since the uh, we haven't seen that since the uh, Falcon Northwest frag box. 40,000. Everything's at essentially 5,500. Yeah. Look at that water. Just, it allowed it to push up to 375 of those tunes. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love these. That's why, and you, I mean, again, you could go to advance if you wanted to. That is crazy. 375 watts. GPU's at 31. Yeah, look at that water. That wattage is crazy. Guys, we got over 40,000 on a steam, on a, on a freaking Cinebench. This is gonna run Minesweeper like a boss. <laughs> yeah, it's pulling a lot of power. Look at that, dude, it's just freaking churning through it though. It's probably 39 now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it'll stay, it'll probably sit around 39,000, yeah. There we go. All right, so let's run. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set up uh, my. Uh, if I set up, I'll set up um, MSI Afterburner real quick. That way we can just run it, and we'll run once. We'll run. We want to see what the GPU does because it's got those airflow. It's got Cyberpunk and Modern yeah, Warfare. Yeah, we already got here. So we'll run. We'll run. Uh, let's put uh, MSI Afterburner on it uh, real quick, and I'll set it up for. Apparently, they finally are having new versions of this. They figured that Russian thing out. So. Uh, there we go. And there we go. It's always nice when the thing's completely set up because then all you have to do is just install a little bit of software and actually try some. So guys, what we're doing right now is we're just gonna set this up so we can actually see temps when gaming. Um, that was a lot of fun. Just. This, yeah, and then again, it, it, the thing that's so crazy is that even when it was running under max, it sounded just slightly louder than when it was running, uh, you know, at um, on uh, when it was uh, running at um, uh, idle. Well, that's good. I'm glad you learned some stuff. That's what you want you to do. We want you to learn some stuff. That's why we do this, because we want you guys to basically see and watch how these things are done and built and make it awesome. Still, I guess the first game I'll get played on it will be Cyberpunk, but it won't really be played. That doesn't really count. Just waiting for the install to get finished. Again, just showing you guys here while we wait for this thing. Here's what the build looks like. So what do you think, B-Mock? Pretty good, temps and power? Yeah, it looks pretty solid. Good cable management. You probably have some. You probably have, don't forget. You have the internal one too. I didn't see one on the other one. It was. I took it out. Oh, okay. I had done that before, so you could actually do a, a real peel. <laughs> yeah, this was not. We were. This definitely doesn't have any of those limitations on it. When you're pulling that kind of uh, when you're pulling that kind of wattage, which is what Org is talking about. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go to on-screen monitoring. Uh, GPU one is okay, 4090. Okay, so we'll do GPU one temperature showing on-screen display override group name. MSI. Okay, it's 4090. There we go. Apply. We're gonna do usage just to see what it's using. Oops, not this one. Uh, we don't care about that. We do care about this one. We care about not about bus memory usage. We do care about. We want to see how much VRAM. Core clock. Uh, power we care about. Uh, power, 
we don't care about voltage. We don't care about, uh, where is frame? Oh, that's down totally there, but that's way in the bottom. Yeah, never mind, we don't care about. Okay, CPU temperature we care about, because you guys want, that's what you guys want to know. So you guys can just label it a little easier so you know what it is. People join later. CPU usage. There we go. CPU clock. Uh, and then we don't care about RAM usage. Okay, we want frame rate. Average. It, well, you, have to boot, you have to boot it. I mean, I just want to see. It's okay with whatever we have. Uh, you'd have to be running the benchmark, but yeah, we could do that. Uh, game. Apply frame time we want. Show an on-screen display. We want to show it as a graph. Override group name, game. Frame rate average. And then, you guys want to see 1% lows? Usually they like to see that too. Okay, and then benchmark. Okay. And recording control L. Okay. Okay, we should be good. Let's run up state. Let's run let's run Cyberpunk. It's uh, you don't often get to use MSI Afterburner on MSI. I like I don't a lot of them, it's like a lot of ASUS ones, but okay, here we go. Cyberpunk 2077. So the first one we'll do is we'll do it at 4K, which will be the best for pushing the GPU at this point in time. And we'll test it with uh, overclock, uh, with uh, basically frame, uh, with patch generation and all that sort of stuff. So oh, if you do frame generation, it's a lot's gonna be done. No, sorry, frame, I'm, done, I'm not gonna do not frame generation. Okay. I'm talking about path tracing, sorry. Oh, I should have made the graph bigger. That's one thing I forgot to do. Hey, Roby, do you mean to have the, the PC in the camera? No, I will go to that. Sorry. There we go. That was, thanks, sir. You should have told me that before. Change cam. Why did you, why did you? Oh, you guys probably weren't watching. Okay, I'm going to make the, I'm going to make the uh, screen bigger a little bit here in a second. Hold on. The, this thing. Okay, so I was just turning on all the stuff. So I was giving you guys a great view. Horizon on here too, huh? Yeah, but it's not signed in. No, I mean, this will be the, probably the only one. Okay, here we go, guys. Now you should be able to see it a little bit better too. There you go. Nice, good scene there, all that sort of stuff. We don't have to worry about, well, I'll show, I'll pop average on here when we hit control K. Okay, so we'll start, let's go 4K, just to get it settings. So we'll go settings, graphics, we're gonna go to overdrive, not frame generation, leave everything else the same. To performance. Apply video, we're gonna go to 1440p. Change it to X full screen. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me go back to 1440. Thing it, uh, uh, let's see, uh, it's like screen down, dang it. Oh man. It, I forgot that I had to go full screen. I should have done full screen first. Yeah, yeah. If you do full screen, then you can should be able to run 4, 4K still. I need this, it's like stuck at that weird resolution and I'm not gonna be able to see it. Oh, I know how to fix that, hold on, let's just do this, hold on. 
I can fix it by making the resolution 1440p. I mean, 4K. Yes. Sorry, guys. We uh, I was I I got I was going too fast. Okay, here we go. Let's change this display settings. Going to 14, uh, 4K. It's still outputting, so that's still good. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we'll do this and it'll be right. Because that stupid little portable monitor just doesn't know what it is or what no it doesn't but i love it i love it i love this this is like the best like in it it's like a monitor that it's just only supposed to run 10 ep but right now we're running 14 uh 4k on it it's like it the monitor has no idea and i love it that's it's like this lab it's, it's like this thing we got sent so long ago and it just runs everything i wonder if it'll run 8k i should try <laughs> it's so funny what this monitor is capable of doing oh okay, here we go Okay, going to settings, we're gonna go to video, go to full screen, apply. Okay, so, we're, okay, there we go. Okay, graphics, we're at performance. Okay, let's run our benchmark. And again, you guys wanna see, right now it's sitting at 41C. We're using nowhere near all the, the memory right now. I know the memory on this should be pretty good, but this is path tracing. This is like the worst case we could get on a CPU and GPU, I mean, sorry, worst case you get on a GPU from a gaming standpoint, right here. That's right, hit your benchmark. Oh yeah, uh, there you go. So we're sitting at 60, that seems fine. That seems okay. You can't, they're in the top left-hand corner, guys. We're getting up to 63. We might want to throw this in the garbage. CPU temps in the 50s. It's blocked half cut off for us. I don't understand, like I'm looking at it in the screen. Oh, don't look at the numbers. You guys don't look at the numbers on the screen in the top left, guys. Oh, the Discord overlay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let me hold on one sec. I can turn that oh, on. I'll do that one more time. Yeah, they're talking about the game, the game reading FPS and the benchmark, but you can still see FPS. Yeah, you can see FPS underneath uh, the thing. Yeah, hold on, hold on one sec. I'll, I'll, I'll show, I'll get rid of the. There you go. Okay, so it's gone again. We'll run it one more time. There you go. Now it's gone. Okay, here we go. So I, I hid them. They, you guys can still hear me though, right, BMOC? Yes, sir. Okay. So again, 63. Yeah, this is like fine, guys. This, yeah, I know, it's not fine, it's awesome, yeah. You have 97, uh, high 90s GPU usage. Yeah, and it's running 96%, yeah. Look at that nine, that percentage, look at that VRAM too, 10, 000, 10 gigs. Sorry, yeah. And it's pulling 386 watts. I guess I, for, I forgot to add power for the uh, CPU, the, G, the CPU. It won't be pulling that much. No, no, it should be like 160, something like that. There it is, guys. 
So there you go, 64, temps are great, CPU temps are great. Like, what do you guys say? Pretty amazing. I think all up. I think he has a, I think he has a great system on his hand, guys. And that's with path tracing. So there we go. That is the build for tonight. And there's the solid build. I do want to show you guys something real quick. Uh, not on this. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let hit this uh, just kind of rest. I do want to show you guys. We um, it's funny. We actually have the um, the Falcon Northwest system. And just so you guys know, with path tracing on uh, at 4K on this laptop, it runs at 40 frames per second, which is uh, which is actually pretty bonkers uh, for a laptop. But I want to show you guys this uh, this pattern and design that Falcon Northwest did on this laptop because it's like crazy. So here it is, if we go to static, oh, here I'll go side. So here it is right here. This is the Falcon Northwest. This is their 30, uh, their 4090 uh, laptop. We're doing the review for it. Look at, the, look at that pattern. It's so, I mean, and again, it matches the red. This is a, now this is a 13900H uh, S uh, uh, CPU with an RTX 4090 mobile GPU. This RTX 4090 will run path tracing with frame generation at 40 frames per second. It'll do just path tracing raw at 24 frames per second and then regular ray tracing at close to 100 frames per second with DLSS. So. Um, this thing is crazy um, in terms of, it's loud in terms of the fans, but in terms of power screen and everything else, and the read, uh, read capacity uh, for speed is 14,000 megabits per second, and the write is 12,000 megabits per second, and you can do up to four M.2 NVMe drives inside of this case. And then it's just, so we're gonna, we're gonna be doing a review on this. I wanna do a little bit of a stream on it just to show you guys more in terms of performance and stuff, but I just wanted to show this off. This is my third Falcon Northwest thing. Um, and every time I just get more and more impressed with their hardware. Now, again, they don't have the engineering stuff that kind of goes with it, um, like with what we get with like when they're doing their talent or anything like that. But still in terms of um, just, they, they do as much as they can with the stuff that they're given to try and make awesome hardware, so. Yeah, and if you put on your headphones, it, yeah, it's, it's, you know, with the fans, like Kevin and I, we were talking a lot about what, these things are just loud because of what they have to cool. So you definitely have headphones, but in entertainment mode, the spatial audio on this thing is bonkers. So if you're just watching a movie like Night, uh, like Night um, Agent or Top Gun uh, without fan noise, it's, the speakers are incredible too. So, I mean, this is, I am super excited. I just wish, you know, there's a way that you can make it super quiet, but, um, this laptop is bonkers good, so yeah. Uh, I would like to run Foundry VTG to run the Pathfinder game, not regular gaming. Is the mob other, is the EATX and how much is the mob, motherboard? The motherboard on this is not, it's just an ATX motherboard and it's not, it was, the prices are linked before. So, um, yeah. Okay guys, well we got a couple of giveaways and uh, you wanna just get your stuff, or you, you wanna be done? Okay, uh, we're gonna do a couple giveaways and we're gonna call it a night, guys. So uh, we got one $25 new gift card and then we'll uh, we'll do the next one after that. Uh, let's do, here we go. Giveaway, all widgets. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. So first one, let's do, uh, let's just celebrate uh, Mr. Darby. So we're gonna do uh, exclamation point uh, Darby, because he's never been a giveaway before. So here we go. And then so $25 new A gift card, exclamation point Darby, exclamation point Darby, and starting that giveaway right now, and this is for the uh, likes, exclamation point Darby. There we go, guys, two minutes. What are you gonna do with all the extra stuff? See a lot of people doing a uh, new egg now still, make sure. Exclamation point Darby, Darby, guys, exclamation point Darby. It's not new egg now, it's exclamation point Darby. 
There it goes. Ever been a giveaway before? <laughs> Can't say that I have. Is it really giving ticks? Oh, wow. It does? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to cancel this. Hold on. Let's go to settings and see what happened. Oh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Now, exclamation point, Darby. Starting our giveaway right now. Exclamation point, Darby, guys. There we go, getting people getting in on that. There we go. Two minutes, guys. I just took a drink out of your water. I was like, uh. <laughs> well, there's nothing left, because I've already consumed. Drink it all? It was, it was full when I started, and I've already consumed it. seconds guys thirty seconds we got it done we when we don't make a lot of progress we got to finish the build What did you, did you go with Boomer? Is that you think you're gonna name it? I don't know. He doesn't know yet. He's, he's gonna, he's, Kevin is never one to rush into these kind of decisions. So yeah, we'll have to, th I'll let you know. I'll let you know when he gets to it. Okay, congratulations to Cray Gazmed. Cray Gazmed, you are the winner. Over on Twitch, you are the winner of the $25 New A gift card. So make sure you reach out to Blondie. Okay, next one up, exclamation point, New Egg Now. Exclamation point, New Egg Now for this one. And this is for the $50 New A gift card. $50 New A gift card starting right now. Exclamation point, New Egg Now, guys. You save these? Mm -hmm. You save these? For work purposes. Oh, nice. Okay. Two minutes, guys. I wonder what the battery life is on this. Like 10 minutes, maybe? Seven. Seven minutes, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Minute 30, guys. Make sure you do New Egg now, not New Egg No. Enchanting Rose, thank you for the follow. One minute, guys. Forty seconds. Thirty 
Okay, 10 seconds, last entries. Okay, that is it. Congratulations to Figment for Life. Figment for Life, you won a $50 New A gift card. Congratulations, you guys, that's amazing. Okay, congratulations, that's awesome. All right, so what is the plan for the rest of the week? Currently, we are tentatively scheduled for a stream on Tuesday. Obviously, we have uh, Andy the Lab is gonna be joining us tomorrow. Uh, we should have a build. The plan is to do in the new Deep Cool case. They have the Deep Cool one with like the digital. You've already done the review on that one, I think. With the digital display? You did, the Deep Cool, I had it up in the front, and you were like, there's a lot of overhead for this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna do it on the Deep Cool case, so that's the should be the plan. I gotta pull all the parts for that. Uh, we're gonna pull all the parts for that. So that should be, if that happens, that'll be happening on Tuesday. Then I'm heading to Austin. Now, the brand new show launching on Friday mornings, 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time over at Intel, discord.gg slash Intel. Uh, you'll be able to join me and Alex. It's a new morning show. Uh, we're gonna go over tech news. We're gonna talk about uh, topics. We're gonna be doing some gaming. So that's gonna be launching this Friday when we're over in Austin. So there's actually only three, uh, and then there's only two streams this week, I think, if that if that's the way it all works out. So stay tuned, we're gonna be working all that stuff well once Deb launches, we'll have the schedule out Tuesday morning. But outside of that, guys, I hope you guys really enjoy this. Don't forget, this is your last week to get in on those PC giveaways and everything else. And the best way to do that, head over to discord.gg slash discord.gg slash Robitech, get your sub in, because that gets you double entries uh, for your PC giveaway that we're gonna be doing as well. Anyway, that's it for uh, Kevin and I. What'd you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations, my man. Uh, that was a lot of standing for him, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream and we look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Have a great night, guys, and we'll talk to you guys later. Oh, I don't know where I'm going, it's over here. <laughs>